All right, I got the notification, so. Eric Swan, Regin ain't easy is what he said. <laughs> Regin ain't easy. Brent Johnson, Troy. Troy checking in. Paul. <clears throat> Where's James? Oh. Hey, Doug, what up? We live, Reggie. What up? King Wop. King Wop still hanging in there with us. What up, dog? Yeah. Wow. Wow. That dick sucker, whack 100. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. San Francisco. What up, Reg and John? What up, Mario? Salute. Salute, yeah. Mr. Peter. Gary. What up, man? John, why you didn't check whack on the the what BS? The whole point of the, the of the whack thing was I was trying to figure out why he says that, which he revealed, and that was the whole purpose of it. Was that well? The whole purpose of the reason why uh, I I allowed it to be is to show that whack gets this information. I'm not saying it's true or not, but he does get this from, some, from someone, and if there's someone keep poking the bear, that audio will be leaked. If y'all want to know the real. So that's what that's why. Yeah. So Reggie, you my guy, I watch all your stuff. I can't listen to that nigga. Respect King Wap. I appreciate it. Uh, respect your opinion. Oh, thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Mr. Holloway. Appreciate that, brother. Yeah, I definitely appreciate that. If you have a question, throw it in there. We'll we'll. Eight eight seven eight one eight seven. What up? What up? Red, what's up? Howitz, Henry from Nevada. Okay, respect. Reggie bought all his speeds. I try, man. I try. We try it. I don't really like tapping at my boy and going over there, but I really don't. Talking about shit. But I have to just keep telling my truth. The Carrier family, what up? I'm from D.C., huge Death Row Records fan. Respect. Great uh, John, and privilege. John, has to don't go live on the camera. Huh? Right. Sorry. John Dickens asked why he can't physically see either of us live right now, and I told him we just do audio live. We don't do video live. Yeah, well, if you take that raggly bomb first <laughs> and the symbol off, maybe they won't think that. Put something up, a picture or something, a you or something. Shit, nobody that's probably why. That's it, hours. but that's the new logo, and huh? that's why. Okay. But I'm used to seeing the black one with. Gotcha. Grape in prison has to be reported to the family in prison. Why ain't public record of Tupac Grape? I don't know what that means, bro. He's take the D off, ready. I missed it. What the whack one? Um, so all, we got a couple episodes up. All the anti shook stuff from whack, I think it's just about done. Or or wax truth. I won't call it anti. Wax truth is, is about done. The other stuff would be stuff that he's dealing with in the um you know, uh this is what he feels about the industry and stuff like that. Ready? How come you know Crooked Eye? The problem, CK, with why Crooked Eye was never distributed, especially why I kind of had a little say so, was mainly because Shook was always uh, under the impression that he was about to get out, mm -hmm. and he wanted to come and put his final touches on the on the album. And unfortunately, that's why a lot of stuff didn't didn't get out, like like y'all probably would have wanted. Yo, know, Reggie, I'm seeing a Tortilla Flat Gang documentary. Yeah, that's old, but that's when I was a cop. And yes, I hear that one of those guys in there is a little shot caller, midget, or one of them, one of them dead, and one of them was in prison, as I remember. And I hear he got a little juice around there. Thank you, Victor, Victorious. Bay Area. 
What up, man? I always see you. Appreciate you, man. Why why did want Shiv to put out so many Snoop and Dre diss songs? We were angry black young men at the time. <laughs> we were some angry. I always said we were some haters at that time. Did y'all patrol in track new? Yes, I I worked track new area before. My first girlfriend, a girl named Bridget Nelson, was from over in track new area. Uh, you know my boy Cheese Man, Ask Cheese Man, and what's my other nigga that I was real tight with? A little yellow nigga. I think it's there right now. But I was real cool with the track news. Uh, Eric Swan, number one. This guy, Shug ran over, has a pistol. Wouldn't that be self-defense? Well, that was the whole argument. The pistol thing didn't come up, Eric, until in the trial when a guy named Marvin came to court and testified to it. Um, from the help of my boy D-Dog, help, help, help make that happen. And that's why Shug wasn't found uh, liable in the civil suit by Terry Carter's family. But nobody was reporting that that was out there that day. And Shug Knight never reported that either mm -hmm. at the time. But if he would have walked in the station saying that initially with that footage that they had, I think he might have um, wouldn't have got charged. Looking at the video, Reggie, do you think it looks like one or do you think it's a walkie-talkie? And just personal opinion, not not. I I believe I, I I believe their actions. They wouldn't have gave a fuck about a walkie-talkie like that. The mm -hmm. way the guy ran over there and pulled something out of, out of his waist. Mm -hmm. That's for all the signs that I knew of a guy, like Pac says, what guys are about their guns. Yeah. Me and my girlfriend, <laughs> me missing that motherfucker. You know, went to get him up, get it off a bone. Yeah. So yes, I, I do believe it was a gun. Yeah, a lot of people are saying. Um, that the Tupac thing in, in, in jail didn't happen. We're not I saying not. it happened. I hope not. I'm not. I, I, We're I, not saying I it never happened. heard it. Yeah. It didn't I never heard it. Our whole yes, point correct. is Shug Knight said it happened. I didn't say who said it. Well, I didn't. I audio. never said it. I said there's audio of it. And yes. um, I believe there's, I heard the audio is, I have not confirmed who said it on the audio yet. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> Uh, didn't did Pac ever? Okay, you good. Did Pac ever get revenge on them PR boys? Let's see, PR boys who sex him up. Mm. Oh, John just answered that for y'all. We're not confirming that that it ever happened. We don't know that to ever happen. We never heard anyone talking about that around Death Row. But we. I totally understand where Wack got a little stuff that he came once he came around and was hanging around in 2005, 2007. I totally understand where he got this from. I asked Reggie if he heard about the time Bone got beat down. Somebody else asked me about that in the hospital in Hawaii. What up, Below? I heard about that. Heard he got whooped up big time. My boy, well, the Booyah tries has something to do with that, as I hear. Um, hold on one second, John. Take that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Greg Lewis, I agree. Tupac did speak on it himself. The whole point was we didn't say it happened. We were just, I was trying to figure out why he says it. Because our whole thing is we know that um, the channel is, is loosely Tupac-based. And so the first segment was going to have to be, why do you talk bad on Tupac? And then... What, what happened now? Somebody, they Reggie's on the toilet. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> you asked me, and then you start reading. <laughs> this people keep okay, saying go ahead, it didn't then. happen. Tupac didn't happen. No, we're just saying the whole point of having whack on was to not really talk about that but we had to address why he says negative things about tupac in the first segment that was my whole my whole point of that um, okay. no one can get hold of angie martinez interview she's holding on to that life 
why is there rumors about a helicopter? Because one person went on the news and said, oh, she saw a helicopter. That's it. A crazy, a crazy white chick in, in on a strip on, on Las Vegas. Y'all see, yeah. boy. And then that's people that never been to, yeah. You know, that's people that never been to Las Vegas that uh, that that even believe stuff like that with all the big old hot toils and stuff. They couldn't land a helicopter there during that time time of year if they wanted to. If a cop got shot. Shot me out. Send me a cash app, Joe Rivera. You made that feel good. That feel good, Joe. I just shouted you out. <clears throat> she ain't crazy. We know what's up. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Y'all probably roommates in some crazy uh, facility right now. Why does Biggie movie say air lifted then? <clears throat> okay, I'm not going. I, I can't deal with retorts. <clears throat> why any person know. that asks some dumb shit like that, I just say, why did Afeni sue Orlando for wrongful death? Answer that yeah. and all and your your dumbass questions about well, well you can't even yeah, they don't they don't have common sense. I know. So that that'll go over their hell their hair their head as well. Hmm. Do you think Shug will live to get out of prison? I hope so. I truly hope so. I believe prison has saved his life. Um because it makes you get to the proper, proper med, you know, not that they give the best medical treatment, but it make you take your ass to your appointments. <laughs> it makes you go, and I think you know, because he would like to, you know, go to the doctors or to the nurses station or wherever inside the facility. It'll make him go and take his proper medication. So I do believe that saved his life. Everybody think he was passing out and stuff. Because he was scared and all that. Suge Knight wasn't scared of no damn prison. Suge Knight passed out because he wasn't taking his medication correctly. Mm. That's all that was. So now he's on his medication correctly. I think he will live to, uh, to, to see the streets again, yes. And I definitely hope so. Michael Moore and Frank both did. Yeah, they, they both committed suicide. One by drugs from OD and the other one by a gunshot to his head in front of his wife. In front of his wife. What what a coward. Yeah. Well, I would, you know, I wouldn't even commit, I wouldn't even want to commit suicide uh, where I know my family will walk in and, and, and find me. I would hope another, somebody else, if if God forbid, I mean, I couldn't even do it, but, uh, but to do it in front of somebody you supposedly like, love, it's crazy. I don't know much about 600, y'all. I, um, so I'm going on. All right. I don't know much about 600, you guys. Yeah. Brent Johnson, thank you for the 499 cash out. Mm -hmm. Tell the story of Keto Rock choking Das out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, let me um John, John, I gotta Go take that. Right. Uh, we'll leave that Brent Johnson, we'll leave that up on the screen so that when he comes back he'll he'll uh, tell the story about the Keto Rock thing. Uh AM, appreciate you listening since 2016. It's crazy. I can't. Uh, I can't believe I, the channel started in 2012, 2011. It's a long time. Um, Nia Keynes, you're you're a weirdo with the conspiracy stuff. You might as well just stop commenting because we're not going to address that. Um, why won't Amir? Hold on. Why won't Amir and Max sue for defamation, John? The same reason Reggie didn't sue R.J. Bonds or anybody else. There's nothing to take. Where, what are you going to get judgment on somebody who makes no money? Not everybody sues everybody. It's not really that crazy. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. I thought it was an early adopter last year. Oh, no. <laughs> We'd started doing audio like two years ago, um, brother, but uh, we just did audio like this. We did live streams primarily for... Um, or shit, like 11 years or whatever it was. Um, laugh out loud. Should wouldn't pay 60K to someone who attempted to kill him. 
if their testimony could get him to not go to jail for nine years, he would and did. But you know, you know better than everybody else, so that's fine. Um, John and Reggie, you. Um, GN, uh, I thank you for the nine, $9.99 cash app, uh, or, or, um, what is it called on uh, super chat? Thank you for the super chat. As soon as Reggie comes back and answers the previous one, we'll answer yours. And now impact. Thank you for your, um, super chat. We'll, we'll answer yours next again. Um, why does Frank say Reggie was involved with the setup, um, in the documentary? Impact, I'm not going to speak for Reggie, but I will say a lot of those documentaries were done to make money, just like movies are made to make money. And sometimes you have to finesse the story. But it is worth saying Frank did want to apologize to Reggie before he um, passed away. And RJ apparently told him, you know, if you're going to do that, remember all the stuff you said about him. And so that didn't happen. So that's why Reggie to this day still talks bad about him because they never did get the chance to speak. But Frank did want to apologize. You back, Reggie? Okay, yeah, I'm so, I apologize. Okay. Trying to get, thought I had some breaking information, but oh, okay. it, it's not panning out yet. Trying to look for this high yeah. profile person that's allegedly got arrested, but gotcha. I don't want to put his name out until I make sure yeah. that is true. Okay, we got three super chats. To, okay. To so the first one is Brent Johnson, who asked if you could tell the story about Keto Rock choking out Daz. Mm, where was that one at? At the Staples Center, right? I think uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let me think of how I could put that one out. But Daz was always getting beat up and stuff like that. But I'm the one that choked. No, I choked out. No, that was Pooh Ryder. What was, what was the one with Keto Rock? Let me think on that one. I got to think on that one, to be honest. I know what happened. I just got to remember what happened around that. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got to think on that one. Let me let me think on that one. Okay, the next one was from GN, and he said, in your opinion, uh, what was it that made Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg flop in 96, 97? And why does no one talk about how Snoop and Daz dissed Dr. Dre at the House of Blues concert? Hmm. You have that audio, John, so people can see that. Not you know about, what they're talking about. I don't. I don't yeah. know. I know that. I mean, maybe they replace some Snoop lyrics when he would say Dre yeah. with D A Z, but I don't know if there were, were disses. Gene, if you could put in the in the in the uh, yeah, what he actually video. said. I I know they were all mad, like I always said, and they were laughing when he was talking about Biggie and Puffy on the side when mm -hmm. when Tupac was talking about having sex with Faith and stuff. And 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 you can obviously see uh, Snoop laughing to the side. But did y'all see what happened today? For those that y'all haven't saw, uh, they released a, a a a song in response. I think <laughs> I don't think John think in response to me saying that they they were broke up, and they did a nice little video interlude, getting a bunch of people saying, "Hey, hey, we heard Dog Pound broke up. We heard Dog Pound broke up," and then they got a song. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's out. Um, shout out to them. I hope I hope it does well for them. I'm not a a, a Snoop and Das and corrupt hater. I just hate lies, and I try to correct it. As I then learned, I think a lot of people, like I do myself, mistaking dates and, and situations or see things at a different a different way. And so, it's hard for me to call everything a person saying or do a lie. Um, just like my boy Shug, you know, I don't think he lied about a lot of stuff. I just think he, Shug purposely, he purposely jabs <laughs> and jabs at people and stuff like that. He's a, he's a very, very good manipulator. And that's, that's what I would get from, from Shug's, uh, from, from Shug's statements. But anyway, I think what I was talking about was pretty much that the Dog Pound came out with a new song today, Das, Snoop, and Corrupt. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to hold my judgment, but I'll come off as a hater if I say it sounds a little dated, the song. But that would be my opinion. It's not like the youngsters be rapping, but maybe that's just their sound, and uh, I'll have to take that.
but it's good to see them back together. Like I predicted to y'all, I told y'all, by the summertime, those niggas will be back together because they're going to need each, all, each other to tour. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. But if y'all go check it out, it's on Snoop page. I am surprised, surprised, surprised. Snoop don't do more active things on his his uh his YouTube channel. I didn't know that Snoop Snoop has a YouTube channel with almost almost ten million su subs. Mm -hmm. So, uh, boy, he could really kill the game if he wanted to kill off a bunch of stuff. I know y'all know, I know that he has so much other stuff where YouTube money is is pocket change to him. But everybody's doing it. Shannon Sharp, not well. Yeah. You know he he making good money, but mm -hmm. he does it. Uh, so there's people. You know Shaquille O'Neal. He does it with his channel. So for an hour or two hours a, a day, I mean a month, a week, or whatever. I'm really surprised that Snoop don't work that channel more than what he does. Yeah, but yeah. Um, a, a super chat that came in while you were gone too was from Impact. He said, "Why does Frank say Reggie was involved in the Tupac setup in documentaries?" Yeah, anybody? Um, because number one, it was profitable. He may have believed that, but before his death, and anybody that's really into this, know that Frank wanted to apologize to me. Any of you people that's on here that really, really was around, um, and once Keefe D came out with the statements. He had tr publicly admitted on YouTube that he wanted to apologize to me for putting that out there. Hey, I know y'all don't believe me. Y'all just asked some people, maybe some people that heard it. I knew it was a guy by the name of Brandon Moore that used to always tell me that uh, in the comment section. Mm. But, yeah. Okay, another uh, super chat. But I think he was mistaken. Kevin Hackey and I talk daily. Not daily, but at least once a week. And he was one of, that, that also believed that. And he has since gave a written statement that we have posted apologizing for making those statements as well. All right. Terrence B. sent a super chat, Reggie. He said, where did the rumor that Reggie had had something to do with Big East demise? And will the feds ever look into it? Will an arrest be they made have. for this fall? Yeah, they have. They they have uh, they have uh, raided my house. Uh, uh, back in like 98, 99, didn't find nothing then. So you think they'll find something in 2024? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not true. There's no truth to it. But number one, the feds have no jurisdiction to investigate it anyway. It's an LAPD open murder case. And uh, they would be the ones um, investigating it. But trust me, well, Number one, I have a, a immunity, immunity agreement on it, but as we see, you keep running your mouth on YouTube from KVD with those type of agreements, you still can't get in trouble. But once uh, I found out why they were trying to question me and wanted to question me, I told them I didn't need that immunity agreement. But um, so the biggie case, hey, y'all can believe what y'all want. That doesn't hurt me by making no accusations because I didn't know Biggie. It only hurts me when people make accusations about me having something to do with the death of Tupac Shakur. But I would say, I have said openly and publicly, I am not a murderer. And I don't care for murderers, to be honest. People that have self-defense, I understand. But murderers, rapists, child molesters, elderly abuse, Woman beaters, I have no love for. And crooked politicians, I got to add that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, we got another super chat uh, that says, back in the 90s with Tupac, what time of day would you guys drive around L.A.? Isn't L.A. traffic extremely bad? How do you yeah. guys get it done? It's not. It's I mean, all it's about what you bad, had. But yeah, go ahead, Red. It's all about what you had to do. If you have something to do, you're going to make it happen. You just adjust to it. But it's not to the point of where you don't, you know, you don't move between 10 a.m. I mean, well, that's the time you want to move, you know, between 6 a.m. and and 9 o'clock, you try to adjust your schedules where you don't. But if you got to be the court or you got to be somewhere, you get your ass up and move. And then, you know, when people coming home from work, usually from about 3.30 to about 6.30, you try not to move or get on that freeway, but 
you know, if you got to, you got to. And it only add about 30 minutes to an hour on to wherever you have to go, generally. Yeah. Jason Colon says, um, are you ever going to interview Neckbone? Neckbone is very, very quiet, very, very low-key individual. Uh, I, I think it would have to take a, a large sum of money or something major, major happening for Neckbone to, to talk. But uh, I know a few people that that's, you know, a, a part of the Ball First community that talks to him. They said he loves talking about either KC, I think it's KC, or Frisco. But for some reason, I think it's KC. They say he's a major, major uh, football fan. And you can uh, talk to him on IG, and he'll talk to you about sports all day. And so Roger Williams, uh, I think it's under Nick Bone, but he, he's on IG. And I had a, a couple of people tell him that they have interacted with him, you know, about sports on, on um, IG. Yes. Okay. R. Davis sent a super chat, Reggie, and he said, how does Sharitha feel about what Shug said recently? And do you guys keep in touch? We haven't. Me and Sharitha hasn't been. Uh, she doesn't agree with a lot of things I say on YouTube and think I'm exposing too much and I need to shut up which like a lot of people does. And so, uh, you know, I have to respect her opinion. And, but, you know, I, I respect your opinion, but don't mean I got to go by your, your opinion. What up, Mr. Tasha Love? Respect. Nice to see you. Hope, hope you're having a good uh, week. Miss, Miss Boo. Yep. But uh, I'm sure it hurts her. Sure it hurts her. I'm sure it hurts her daughter. Um, but for Suge to say something like that, it has to be something going on in, in, in that relationship within the last year that I don't know about. Cause he wouldn't even say it, even if he really felt that way. Somebody said, and I don't want to bring up old wounds, but Reggie Jr. Um, what's up bomb first? Why you never get at the groupie directly? Cause he feels he's always right since you never check him. Um, well, because it's only about two thousand or three thousand that people that goes over there and view his channel. But you let me start talking about him and respond to him, then he gets ten thousand to yeah. fifteen thousand. And that's just smart business decision to, to ignore him and let him keep making his little twenty dollars a video versus making a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars a video. Yeah. Um, let's see, I saw something. Let me see. It's about Bob Gotti if we'd ever bring Bob. Oh, here we go. Um, I may call Bob tonight. I, I'll call yeah. Bob Gotti tonight and see. Yeah. Okay. He said, can y'all bring Bob Gotti and Trayvon? But Trayvon ain't fucking with us right now, but <laughs> Bob Gotti. Bob Gotti and I talk every night. Matter of fact, he called since we've been on this phone. So oh. <laughs> yeah. remember to bring somebody in. I got to send him a link on, on the way we do it now. So just like if, if you want to invite anybody, just let me know and I'll text you the link to send to them. All right. I'll, I mean, I'll call him and then ask him and then, uh, then yeah. Okay, I'll send you his number. Said, let's address this, Reggie. Uh, DM said it took three hours to, to, to get to the hospital. Come on. You can't believe this guy talking about the story that it took you three hours to get to the hospital. Who said, whoever said that? Whoever said uh, it took three hours to get to the hospital? I don't know. Oh, whoever said that? Where have you ever heard that? Um, I don't know who he's speaking of if he's talking about me, but I, I never said that. And uh, myself, Michael Moore, and this attorney—I can't never think of that guy, that attorney's name—and somebody just just piped it in. Uh, but it was a Vegas attorney uh, that drove us to the hospital. I don't know why I never could think of his name. I always want to confuse him with Anthony Brooklier. John, you got to remember this name and write it down because we get asked about this attorney a lot. Uh, next time, somebody's going to type it. Because a lot of people know it, know the story, but I can't think of his name right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Reggie, were you when Biggie was shot at the Hollywood Park Casino? Gambling. It wasn't Oscar Goldman. It wasn't Oscar. What is that attorney name? It's all in oh, the documentary. The yeah, yeah. 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 It's like right on, 
Ryland George Calise, George Calise, George Calise, George Calise, George Calise, Calise, George Calise, K E L I S. He's still a practicing attorney in uh, in Vegas. Y'all can research, call him, drive him crazy, ask him, ask him what happened. He'll tell y'all. George Calise, that's his name. K E L I S, I believe is how it's spelled. Freddie, do you have any O.J. Simpson stories? <laughs> no. I knew his daughter. Y'all know Tupac he was messing with his daughter. Uh, but uh, other than that, uh, I went out with her with some friends a couple of times. She had picked up a bunch of weights since Tupac had messed with her. Uh, but she was real pretty. Damn, Johnny, something going on with your, with your wiring. Um, but she was very, very pretty. Very um back you know, back in the day during the court trials, a lot of people was attracted to her. Uh Arnell, Arnell, I think her name was. Yeah. And uh, that'd be about it. She was real cool with this this promoter that we dealt with named Toy. Uh not Toy uh Lynn, but uh Toy Crawford. Her and Toy was real tight. And yeah. Did you sue the groupie? Uh, we had sued him for copyright claims because uh, he had used our video that we paid for to have done and using it to talk bad about me. And uh, But he called me begging, crying, and we worked it out. And I dropped the lawsuit, uh, wasted $550, mad about it still today. But <laughs> um, I thought YouTube worked different. But... This shit about copywriting and all of that shit is crazy. YouTube do not protect you like you think they, they do. They make you go through the court systems and it takes two to three years. So it, it, it don't even make no sense. It's not even worth it. Especially when you're suing a, a broke mother. Somebody that'll file bankruptcy every time you get a lawsuit. Yeah. Today is your boy Mob Jane's birthday for any of y'all. On the video today with me, uh, we posted or pinned up his cash out. Appreciate it if any of y'all sent him a dollar, five dollars, whatever. Just to say happy birthday, James. Y'all just don't know how that make people feel to get to something to show that they're appreciative. Uh, those of y'all that got something negative to say, hey, y'all views count as well. But anybody that gives a, you know, care about another brother, make somebody smile. Y'all don't know what a cash out from a stranger will do for you you really don't but it's all good his life ain't gonna change if you decide not to so it's not like i'm begging for him just showing you how you show appreciation to people yeah this guy's yeah. asked us a few times reggie um is there any and i know the answer but i'm just doing it to get it out of the way because yeah. he, he has okay. respectfully asked a couple times is okay. there any insight you can shed on kevin Gaines? if not i respect it uh just that him and sharita uh uh, was going together. I swear, I, I tell you, I never seen this man in person in my life. Only time I ever seen him was on pictures, uh, you know, on TVs or you know, doing the news and you know, on YouTube. But uh, it was apparently somebody that was dear to Sharita at the time. But y'all got to know Shug Knight, man. Y'all got to know young 27, 28 year old black niggas that think they got money and stuff. We are not going to be fraternizing with somebody. That's fucking our wives, our women, or our exes. We generally don't even want to mess with women. I mean, guys that fucking women that we we fucked with after after we even got rid of them. But you definitely ain't gonna be having them around. Suge and Sharita were still married during that time. They had a they had their own type of agreement. Uh, they both were doing things, you know, apparently. But as y'all saw from that audio, she was hiding it. Nobody knew. Didn't know them. But, you know, she was, she was, uh, she was being, uh, hey, Alex, Alex, Alex Alonzo say, where's Phil Carson at tonight? Well, you got his phone number. Why don't you interview him on your channel, the big dog? I see you like, uh, interviewing rapists. I see you got Nino Boy up there. <laughs> you know, I got that, 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 that audio. You know, one of your major co-hosts know he's a rapist. But you like put, you say you don't want to deal with snitches, but you deal with a rapist. Okay. 
What a double standard. <laughs> what a double standard. But you're still my boy, Alex. You know it. Yeah. Reggie Jean claims what? Uh, Reggie Jean claims that the shooter walked up. Yeah, Adam. Tell me what, what type of sense that makes. A shooter walks up and looks and put his head in the car, right? I may give you spotter. I may give you spotter, but the actual shooter? And then he walks up, put his head in the car at a crowded place if you've ever been outside of a club. But then he can go and position himself inside of a car five minutes later to do a, a drive-by? Actually, Reggie, he, he's saying, yeah. I'm reading this, co this, this question correctly. He's saying, Gene claims the shooter walked up and shot Tupac. He's not talking about Baker. Oh, 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 oh. It's even crazier. Oh, but, <laughs> oh okay. No. I, I see a new Yeah, how would Gene? Gene was a. All right, what my boy? Wait a minute, my boy Alex. I don't want to start no war with Alex. Let me see. Whoever you are talking about was never convicted of any rape charges. You know he was never even charged. John, did you hear the audio? I did. Okay, that's all I need to say. All right. Uh, and I got and 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 I'll tell you privately how I got in contact with that person. You'll be surprised. <laughs> Reggie was Eric Wright. I, I never met uh, uh, EZ, man. Never met EZ before in my life. I guess our our ancestors had the same um, uh, slave owners. That's probably why we have the same last name. Gregory Miller, that would be your mother. That would be your mother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my favorite song, my two songs, so many tears. Let's do that. Let's be positive tonight. I'm not going to go in on people tonight. Yeah, y'all know that's a lie. But what, let's everybody put in their favorite Tupac song. Call Big Slice? Okay. See, John got me all on this other stuff, y'all, where I can't just do three-way calls. He oh, got me where? Huh? I can text you a link that you can text to them. They can oh, that I can text to them? Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. It'll be the same one? Okay. Uh, I think it's the same. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same one or if it's it's or if it's a different one. It might be the same one, but we can have up, up to ten people on at the same time. Okay. So you could right, have Slice, you could have James, you could have Gotti, you could have whoever you want in here. Okay, I'll, I'll we'll call them all. Here. I had me and John. I was sitting up here watching the basketball game, and I was like, "Why am I watching this East Coast game? I don't care about no god dog on Chicago," and. Uh, <clears throat> I don't care about no Chicago and no sorry as uh, Atlanta. <laughs> I'm like, let's do a god dog on show tonight. Our views are down. Y'all ain't y'all don't like me responding to Shug Knight. So our views is down. Let's 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 do a live stream. But anyway, what I was about to tell you, let's put in let's everybody that's Tupac fans, let's put in your favorite one. Mine is White Man World. I love that song and, and I love uh I don't. I like this too. Of all eyes on me, um, California. I mean, uh, this one of all eyes on me is just too, too nice. So, but anything off of uh, Hearts of a Man, anything off of uh, this too, I can bump to. And then, of course, y'all know why I like changes. John, what's your favorite? Um, ever. Yeah. Um... Maybe hold your head or hmm. I'm trying to think. My favorite off All Eyes on Me would be either the past Run Your one, Ride yeah. or Got My Mind Made Up. And you name your channel bomb first. Oh boy, boy, boy. <laughs> now I'm just messing with you. <laughs> Unconditional love and pain. Okay, pain was a good one. Dear Mama. Dear Mama is yeah, that's that song will always be around. Yeah, breathing, breathing against all against all lies is going. I like it. even me and my girlfriend. Dreaming. We ain't hard to find. We ain't hard to find. Yeah. Okay. 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 
But I always say maybe because my shit changes. You know, you, last time you asked me what my favorite song was, I told you Unconditional Love, and you thought I was crazy. But, yeah, I, I was surprised a lot of people said that. Yeah. And, and, and Tupac told you. She'll, that's why I say, man, I love hearing Shug tell stories like this. Didn't he tell y'all why? And he broke it down nicely on his uh, podcast. Why he, uh, why Tupac wanted to do Unconditional Love. Did y'all yeah. catch that? You know, that was, that was, uh, that was good. That was, see, that's stuff like that I want to hear from Shug, you know, as well. But he broke that down until, hey, Tupac said, hey, I'm not really in the love. I ain't got no wife or anything like this. But I'm going I want to write this song for you. So you, because you can rap about stuff like that. Uh, that was good. If y'all didn't hear that segment, y'all need to check that out. Did the police with their throw in Tarzan or around Canal? Not a lot of brothers in that part of town. Uh, at the end, once they found out what happened is there were some condos that got built around Canal. And they had a thing, Hammer brought, which Hammer is the one that brought to it. Was like, y'all stop listening to y'all music in the studio because you got the expensive ass uh, uh, speakers and all of that. You got mm -hmm. all of the speaker sound systems and all of that. And, and of course, all your music going to sound good. Take your ass to the car. And that was the way they used to want to try to get their music. But anyway, take your and listen to the, the car in your, in your car. And so, of course, they go listening to the, the music in their cars. And guess what they do is turn it up and, and blast, blast the speakers and stuff. And and so people started complaining, you know, because these guys playing this stuff two, three in the morning, and that's how they we got on their radar, and that's when people started complaining, and that's when they started tripping. They had this detect. How come Tupac never had a baby had a baby by any of his many girlfriends? Ooh, Alex, boy, you coming with a tough question? I don't know, man. What you trying to say, uh, Alex? <laughs> The rumor is, the rumor is, let me just say that because I, I, I didn't learn about talking bad about Tupac Shakur on Bomb First. The rumor is, and he even talked about it before, his dad kind of insinuated that, that uh, he lost one tes testicle. Now, y'all going to tear me up. I know a lot of people about to tell me that you can have babies with one testicle. Yes, you can. But it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder. Now, if you say, well, shit, he was fucking when he was 18, 19, and 20, then yeah, maybe he was using safe sex. I don't know. And that came from your boy from Street TV, Alex. So don't get mad at me for answering that question, y'all. Or maybe he was, you know, practicing safe sex, shit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Is it true that Ronald Risky Brent own co-founded this channel? Yes. Uh, uh, this yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, way in the beginning in 2012. 11. Yeah, 2011, 2012. Yeah. Whenever it first started, yes. Yes. Looked like uh, the dog oh. pound back together. Yeah, we talked about that a little earlier. Yeah, they got a, a song out. What you think of that song? What y'all think of Tupac? Oh, um, not Tupac. Of the dog pound's new song. Yeah. Was well, bigger. <laughs> Reggie, is it true that CVT Flats was a racist game? No, they weren't. Nobody knew about no racist. We all was broke. No. I mean, you you had your black, you had your gangs, but no, the CVS, this, uh, the T, T Tortilla Flats got along good with the Palmer Block Crips. So I wouldn't say that. They were cool. I never remember going to no gunshot victims between uh because they they lived in the same uh, you know among each other so i don't remember that and, and y'all know the mob dudes was cool with the seven o's that'd be a good question for alex from my boy street tv he'd know stuff like that i mean i give ho alex a hard time today i'm giving you but alex alex alonzo is very very knowledgeable when it comes to stuff like that him and a guy named ellie mill I never say about Kevin Mack because I never watched Kevin Mack channel and I don't know much about LA gangs and stuff. But trust me, Alex Alonzo have probably touched on that or talked to someone who has. And uh, and then somebody else. Uh, 
and then my boy Melly Mel would know. But my experience as a cop, uh, I don't recall uh, the tortilla flats and Palmer blocks uh, getting into it with each other. And they also the shit they they also were over there on Mulberry Street. So, and that was a blood game, uh, Paru game. That was uh, treetops, or, or was it Fruit Town? Maybe Fruit Town was over there. So, but no, I, I can't say that about the tortilla flats. Now, once you went to prison, <laughs> all bets are off. They all became racist then in prison. But that was the politics that they had. Yaki Qaddafi, thank you for that super chat. Reggie, were there plans to do a solo album on Storm, Female Outlaws, after Pac passing? Not after Pac passing, no. Why do you think current members of the group exclude her from her, her interview? That's all because of her. She uh, the went and had about four or five kids, I think five kids, and she just very, very low-key. Cool chick. I just think she just uh, chose the uh, the marriage life. And uh, that, that would be my opinion on why Storm, uh, uh, you know, this, this is a very, very low key. There was a, a, a young lady, if y'all go and listen to an old interview that was producing and working with her named Shar Jones. And she probably asked that question um, back in the day that we did a live stream from. And uh, my girl, Shar Jones, and she, I'm sure she answered that question because she was a female producer that was working with Storm a lot. But yes. But I think after what happened to Park, she just, you know, went in, you know, like a lot of people did. They, uh, what's the word? Changed their life. I'll just say that. It's changed their life. Mm. Anyway, uh, hey, Reggie, did you ever run in Orlando Anderson as a cop? No. No, I knew his boy, his right hand, Michael DeRoe, little Al, very, very well. But no. Alex had asked me something about OJ I wanted to see, but I don't, yes, I don't lost their question. Uh, Tupac and OJ ever met? You know, not to my knowledge, but because not to my knowledge. Mm. I, I don't think he messed with Arnell that long, but it was while he was on death row. Uh, wasn't it Tretch or something to mess with her as well? Uh -huh. Shoot, Tretch and Pac and, and them. Man, boy, they changed a lot of females. There's a female I'm going to tell y'all about one day that y'all going to be surprised that she ignited and Pac both shared. I don't know what she, Pac has always denied uh, this relationship with this one. But I know when this one was like, well, I ain't going to say. But he did mess with her when she was a little when she was living in Marino Valley. I'll make y'all do y'all history. Shaq was with everybody in 95, 96. <laughs> Shaq was with every Shaq, Shaq man was out there buying no expositions. Man, Shaq, when Shaq first came to LA, man, in 95, 96, 97, Shaq, <laughs> Shaq, Shaq was with everybody, woman. <laughs> yeah. So, so Reggie, you going to let Wax say Shug had a party like like Diddy's? All right, number one, Ronald, and I know you're a hater. I only know I normally don't respond to my daily haters, but at least like I tell everybody, my haters' views count just as well as the regular views. Uh, number one, let me clear that up. Shug never had parties with underage girls. And to say to be like uh to say to be like Puffy, Puffy is accused of having stuff with boys. I I would bet anything, any amount of my body parts that Suge has never been with a man or messed with a little boy while he was free. I don't know what's going on now. I ain't saying it is. But as a free man on the streets, I would bet anything that Sugar hasn't. So to say that would be an outright lie because Puffy did things with boys and Sugar didn't do anything with no motherfucking boys. Guarantee y'all that. Sugar had every. Sugar. 
Man, I probably I could tell you the type amount of times that I seen shit without a female in his presence than I can with. Put it that way. I I only remember I only could think of one night that while I knew that nigga that he, you know, being a free man that he didn't have a female. And that's when we went to Rochester, New York, not Rochester, not Rochester, North Carolina with Jodeci. We went to go meet with Jodeci and we went out there goddamn doing a weekday and y'all know how y'all are in that Bible Belt and we couldn't find a strip club or nothing to go to on a Monday or <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> we couldn't find nothing. Yeah. Man, we were so, he was so mad. He was like, man, we got to get the fuck out of this town. <laughs> And he couldn't even believe Jake Casey and JoJo couldn't even find no females. He was like, "Y'all ain't got no chick." But anyway, now, so I ain't letting y'all get away with that about Shug. Y'all know I talk shit about Shug, but Shug was no, he was not no booty bandit or or or, or no no uh, molester with boys. Hmm. No, not my boy. Uh, What's yeah, your I'm favorite? Still... Oh, go ahead. You're good. What's your favorite of Loud Laws? Natolian by far. And that's so. You know, if you consider him one. But but I love the group, the ones y'all know, Mutal by far. And you know, to be honest, uh, the one that I give a hard time to, I, I have a lot of love for um, um for uh, Castro. Not Castro. What's the one I'll be talking to now, John? Um, Noble. 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 <laughs> yeah, I understand Noble a lot. Me and him have been talking a lot lately. And I, I, I understand. I understand him a lot. Yeah. I understand why he's the way he is. And yeah. Yeah. Say nuts so don't count. I knew he was gonna say that. But yeah. But I still like nuts so a lot as well. Okay, hey Reggie, how come DJ Quick never signed a death row? Because he was signed to uh, Profile Records. So Shug did what he did to by taking be able to take care of him and sign him as a producer. But that's because he had to deal with uh with uh with profile records in New York. Mm -hmm. Gonzo was a good dude too. What y'all think about Gonzo? You know, uh I don't know if I consider him an outlaw, but I don't know if thought laws do. But I like Gonzo a lot too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, go ahead. Read it. Uh, Reggie, much love to you and Jay. Do you think Big James and Wack would be able to have a civilized combo if they haven't already? I don't know if you caught that on um on um on the blast show that I did when I was trying to get James to call and talk to Wack. Uh, you know, on an episode of Clubhouse. James was smart, though. James was like, man, Reg, no, I'll talk to him one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm not getting on no Clubhouse and talk to him. And I kind of dropped it and just left it alone. But um, I, I never have tried to just say, hey, friend, hey, friend, can y'all work this out? I never tried that. I just let them be who they are. Um, I tried it once with whack with this guy, Marvin Kinsey, uh, I told Lamar and it went bad <laughs> It went bad. And after that happened, I said, I ain't getting in the middle of no more shit. I'm just going to be a loyal friend, be a good friend and let me and be me. The only reason I have ever took on Shug fight. I'll tell y'all was because he didn't have a mouthpiece. Shug has the mouthpiece. Now I won't be taking on any more of his fights. I'll correct things. I would say, well, this is how I saw it. This is how I, you know, thought it happened. But just to go at the people like I did with the groupie and all of that, it's the only reason me and the groupie had a problem. We didn't know anything about each other. Sure, I sure in hell didn't know who he was. But because he was saying that Shook did not, you know, sign Tupac or get Tupac out of jail. Interscope did. And I just knew that wasn't how the deal went, went, went on. And I so I started responding to it and then it grew and grew and grew but now sugar and done been out and then did about 15 episodes and he ain't talked about it so hey ain't my fight no more 
And I understand, and I know she never asked me to fight or, or to take on this fight for him. I get it. But that's what friends do in my mind. Friends take on people fights when they don't feel that they have a, a mouth to do it, especially when you know something. But now he's able to do it. I'll let him take on those fights. We are going to bring Danny Boy back. Danny Boy got a deal uh, working. He got something working major. Uh, and so uh, until that uh, it either blow up or not, I'm, going to, I'm not going to stand in his way. Y'all got to remember, I done piss off a lot of people in this industry uh, talking on YouTube and stuff. And so a relationship with Reggie is hard because people will be, it's easier for them just to say, ah, no, I ain't fucking with you. You fucking with Reggie. And so I don't want to do that. Reggie, uh, why do you, my, that's my personality. Why do I respond to the trolls? Because that's just me. Uh, does it really change my life anyway or your life, you know, the troll's life anyway? No. And so I just do. I don't know. That's just me. I guess that's that fat boy image. You remember the fat kid? You ever see a fat kid when they were young? They always had the big mouth always was was the one to talk shit and respond back and all of that. I guess that's just me. Do you think Diddy ties with the South Side played a role in Snoop saying Big and Puff, his homies, Crips stick together? No, not at all. I thought it was suspect. I don't I, I, I don't believe that at all. Um but when you saying that when you when was that time period? If it was you know, two thousand two, two thousand three, maybe. But I I have to research and you have to tell me when that question was state was stated or when that you know when that was when that comment was made to to accurately. I'm not one to believe I I I would put anything, my limbs, my health, my, my you know, anything on it to believe to not to say that two that Snoop Dogg had nothing to do with the murder of Tupac. Not even knowing about it. I'm not a Tupac fan, y'all. I'm, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not a Biggie fan. I'm sorry. A Snoop Dogg's fan like that. To protect him. But I don't believe he had anything to do with setting up the murder of Tupac. I don't believe that. Nothing about it. I believe it happened just the way Keefe D explained that it happened, y'all. What is a cripple ex cop? Somebody there, I bet to fuck the shit out of your mama. I bet you he could. <laughs> I bet you I could. Just give me five minutes with her. <laughs> Probably wouldn't want to. But I bet you I could. How did y'all mess up five hundred million dollars? I was gone. I had left. It was We're, still there. Not to cut you off, but what's the real number, Reggie? Because I hear three hundred million. Yeah, you, you million. never know. It's mm -hmm. depending on what the catalog is. Y'all okay. want to? Y'all want to believe? Y'all want to want to believe that 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 Snoop bought it all? That he had that type of money to go buy it, or that that company sold it to Snoop for <laughs> for twenty million dollars? That's why I keep telling y'all he don't own that stuff. He's just a front. He don't have the type of money it takes corporations to buy stuff like that. Bad boys, Def Jam, all of them. When they sold the first time, they sold fifty percent. Then the second time they sold another fifty percent. Now in the bankruptcy auction, I think they what they paid thirty six million for it. Something like but that. But that was yeah. at an auction. Yeah, 30, 30, 36 million for it in, in an auction, and that was at a time um, before streaming has started really blowing up and stuff. Now, and Shug Knight was free. That's why nobody showed up and bought that stuff because they didn't want to deal with Shug Knight. Hotch Entertainment <laughs> paid me and Shook ten thousand dollars just to, a month just to leave that alone, just to not to go and 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 contest to it. Okay, this is how much they were like. How come much we can get y'all just so y'all can just leave us alone? I made that. I made. I didn't make ten thousand. They dropped me down, 
but I made monies off of that deal all the way until 2018 until they got a new company in and they fired my ass. All the way to 2018. That's what I always say. I had a longer run with Death Row than Shug Knight did. I made money from 2000, and, well, really 90, 1996 all the way until 2018 off of Death Row. So that was a pretty decent retirement plan for Reggie Wright. And about to get paid again off of something else. Well, I'll remain silent on that yeah. until that comes come true. All right, we okay. got a super chat from Ed Foster. He wants to know, what is Gene talking about when he says Suge told joke no joke uh, somebody walked up to Suge's car and shot Pac? I don't know. Gene yeah. said, I, mean, I, I think choke, choke no joke crazy ass probably said that they said that I can't deal with people that listen to choke no joke Ed Foster so I hope you're not over there listening to the, <laughs> the choke no joke that is the biggest clown on YouTube the groupie least the groupie is a believe what he believes about things and he tried to research and do it. Choke, no joke name. He lives up to his name. Like I always say, whack one under. Choke, no joke is a joke. He just sits on YouTube all day making up shit. Well, what he's saying, though, is he's saying Gene. So well, but, but he heard it from Choke, no joke. Gotcha, you know gotcha. Gene ain't said no shit like that. You know Gene ain't. Gotcha. We would have heard that if Gene said that. Where would Gene say that at? Yeah. It's saying and a choke no joke. Said, oh no, I don't listen to him, but Gene said it on his channel. Gene said it on Gene's channel or Choke said it? Why would Gene say that he said something that he told Choke no joke? I don't know. Trust Maybe me. Gene went on Choke's channel or some shit. I don't know. No, nah, they don't even get along. Oh, okay. He, he, he talks about Gene. He talks about Gene just as much as he talks about me now. Gotcha. <laughs> He's got to have something in the live stream about... Uh, Ed Foster said it happened on Gene's channel, so I don't know. I didn't think they messed with each other. I know they talk about each other. You know, Choke No Joe talks about him. He threatened him. He talking about Gene threatening him or some shit. Hmm. But you know what? I can't say because I don't listen to it. I just look at the titles and be like, what this clown talking about? <laughs> but I never listen to it. Question for Reggie. Do you own Hurdle Vast Publishing with Simon Says? Huh. <laughs> you, you notice Dave May's not using Hail Mary in that in the intro no more, huh? Go listen to the latest uh ah, never mind. I'll be giving up too much on this little shit. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh Go listen to the. I'll just say, go listen to uh, episode fifteen and see if you hear that song anymore. Um, okay. Uh, do you think Diddy ties with Southside played a role? I, I, I thought I answered that. So, Diddy ties. Oh, oh no, I didn't. And Roll and Snoop Dogg sing. I did kind of answer that. Puffy yeah. has oh, no, no that. He said that because he honestly, you know, felt that way. Like he didn't have a problem with Puffy and now. If, if you're talking about the radio station, he was mainly saying the East Coast. He wasn't talking about Puffy first say He was said the East Coast. How did Dog to Pound 2 uh, come out? Uh, I put that out. That was one of the last projects I did over at Death Row. Or was it Dead Man Walking? I think it was that one. I put yeah. that one out. And I stole that song that Jay-Z and them had blowing up. Y'all remember that one? The, the, mm -hmm. the dance they put with Jay-Z and them? I stole mm -hmm. that one. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, but it was all from studio garbage. Shit that we had. Free sugar beer. I, you know, uh, I know you're probably doing that thinking that's going to piss me off or something. But man, I'm 100% I'm uh, in compliance with that that request. I feel that Suge has been in prison long enough for that bullshit. Not that bullshit. I'm sorry, the Carter's family. But for that unfortunate incident that had happened. So, yes. Most people wouldn't have got six or seven years for that for that, that particular incident. So, yes, I do believe Suge should get me free. 
Or are you into boxing? Oh, you know, just the big boys, the big fights. But there are some good ones coming up. What y'all think about Mike Tyson and that um and that's thing he gonna do with uh Rich Paul? Jake Paul. J Paul. <laughs> do y'all think it's gonna go down? Do y'all think Mike gonna, gonna gonna show up? I think all that guy's fights are fixed. Huh? Paul. I think all Jake Paul's fights are fixed. Well, Mike Tyson ain't going for no he Mike Tyson is too crazy to to be involved in something fixed. <laughs> you couldn't trust Mike Tyson to do nothing like that. Yeah, that's true. Um Reggie, have you heard anything about Bone lately? Oh uh, I have. I have somebody from his neighborhood is trying to do an interview with me currently. But I have a, an agreement with Alex Alonzo to, 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 to lead that that I shouldn't be talking about that subject. And so I'm trying to honor it. But I don't know if Alex, Alex Alonzo has been picking at me tonight or not. I got to see if he's mad at me. So if he is mad at me, then I can uh, go ahead and do that interview. We got a Why do you say right David Mack? Okay, hold on. Let me get this one. Why do you say David Mack wasn't in Compton? I say he didn't grow up in Compton. Okay, so he lived with his stepfather in Compton for a year, went to L.A. Unified School Districts. Anybody that knows Compton from where Fremont High School is, y'all tell these, these all the towners how far away that is. That is not a person that grew up in, in the city of Compton. But he lived with his stepfather, I have found out, for about a year in the county part of Compton. So that that hopefully answered your question. How far from the neighborhood what? you guys grew up, Reggie? Huh? For the people that don't know, how far is, is that from the neighborhood where you guys grew up, where he lived for one year? Oh, uh, you know, Compton's only eight miles wide, so, you know, exactly. everything is close. Yeah. But... We but didn't know him. The neighborhood is what I'm saying. It's not he wasn't in our neighborhood, and he definitely didn't go to the schools with us. Yeah. That's where we know each other from, the schools. That's why all the Crips dudes and the Paru dudes, they all know each other because they all go to the same high schools. What's up with you and Big Steel? Oh, nothing. No. Me and Big Steel hasn't captured each other in a while. So, uh, hopefully it's all good. I mean, not all good, but... Uh, no, we don't have no problem. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I don't have no problems with him. I don't know where he feels, but he, he, he seemed to be doing this thing with his channel. You know, hey, we all just trying to make money, make a living, take care of our kids, right? That's what it's all about. Any updates on Keefe D? He has a court date coming. I it must be either Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I know, you know, he had a, like every 60 days they have like a, uh, a hearing, uh, like update, like, uh, what they call it, uh, status, status, mm -hmm. uh, status report or something like that. And that's due. It has been two months since we saw him two months since y'all all told me he was going to bail out and I didn't know what I was talking about, but he's still in there. Mm hmm Go ahead, John. I think you had a super chat you wanted to read to me. Yeah. Um, how was the relationship between Death Row and the Nation of Islam in LA? At what point of time? Shug had hired them prior to me for security. They were the ones that was on the security when they had a big fight fight on in the Marina Del Rey on the boat between the Power Rules and, and the Lone Beach guys at Snoop's album release report party. Mm. There was a guy by the name of Shahi Muhammad, rest in peace. That myself and Suge both had a great relationship. I'm talking about this type of relationship I had with Shahi, where I used to sit in his backyard because he lived right behind me when I lived in Ladera Heights. And we used to talk in his backyard around this pool till two or three in the morning. And he was kind of like the, uh, he was like the national, he was over the national security for the, for the FOIs. But he was very, very popular in California. A lot of guys looked up and respect Shahid a lot. And uh, so I would say it was all good. There was no problems with, with, with the Nation of Islam. But, um, yeah. And that's mainly because of Shahid and uh, Minister Farrakhan's uh, son that was real tight with Shahid. 
And, you know, Suge being who he was, of course, going to have relationships with people. Why, why do you feel QPD hasn't gotten, hasn't been able to get bailed out yet? What's your opinion on that? Uh, just because uh, nobody want to show a relationship with him that has that type of money. Hmm. Thirty-five thousand like dollars with him, huh? Like what's with like they don't want to be associated with him publicly. Uh, yeah, yeah, to be yeah, you know, because the type of people that unfortunately he knows are people that are probably doing illegal activities, mm. and so they will have to show that their money clean. Plus, y'all got to remember, this is the main reason Keithy D trying to save himself was trying to bring a lot of people down. And people knows this. And, and so most of the people that he was in business with and did things with, he tried to snitch on. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and they're hearing it and they know these things. And so they are electing, you know, to stay away from him. And they consider him a, uh, a rat, even though, you know, for what he did. And so, yeah. That's why uh, that's why I believe no one's going to help him yet. But I'm sure there's banks. I'm sure they're trying to figure out how to refinance their house. The houses mark market are, are not bad. If you know, all his wife, you know, if I was advising somebody like like that, if it was you, John, I was just like, all right, John, add so and so to your house. Her name, she got a job, making a good amount of money, and got a decent credit. We're gonna refinance the house, pull the money out, out of the house. I'm sure that house in Vegas, if they're not renting it and they own it, it has seventy-five thousand dollars worth of equity in it. Go pull a hundred thousand dollars out. But you got to have people in your life like that that you know can advise you to do stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this is the second time um, Maddo Music sent this super chat. Um, according to the FBI file, the JDL was trying to extort Tupac. We're also trying to extort Easy E and other artists. Why don't you ever speak on that? Okay, I was reading what Alex wrote. I'm sorry. One more time. Alex wants y'all to know he was eating a sandwich uh, where David Mack robbed, robbed the bank at over there by USC. <laughs> and he wants y'all to know Big still owes him money, so help him. <laughs> he said, man, you can say whatever you want, but he, uh, he owes him money. He mad. All right, John, I'm sorry. No, no. According to the FBI file, the JDL was trying to extort Tupac, Easy E, and other artists. Why don't you ever speak on that? Oh, because I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know about it. That's why. I mean, I don't know about it, but I, I brought my client on. My client was the guy that, that was in charge of all of that. And so y'all know I have a relationship with my client. My client told y'all of a story with, uh, with Easy E, not Easy E, with, um, you know, with him and Shahid, how close they were. And so uh, we always had a good, great relationship with Mike Klein. Y'all, y'all heard it. If y'all ever, heard, if y'all listen to the live stream, I deal with Mike Klein. If y'all couldn't tell that me and Mike Klein had a great relationship, and Suge and Mike Klein have, have and has an even better relationship. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So we never had a problem with the JDL, to be honest. Reggie, you owe me a hundred bucks. What do I owe you a hundred bucks for, J Jermaine? Probably the bracket thing, if I had to guess, right? Yeah, I just told them to send it to us. They ain't sent it to us. Oh, uh, screenshot? <laughs> yep, screenshot. Reggie, do you still have a relationship with Kevin Hackey? Talk to Kevin Hackey. I mentioned it earlier. At least uh, once or twice a month. Minimum. Why would y'all, we ex answered it earlier in the, in the stream, John explained why that question was asked. So for any of y'all that have a question on why we asked WAC 100 that, that question and had, in, uh, had him on the channel, he answered that. But why wouldn't we have him on the channel? It's a different point of view. You always say, not all of y'all, but a lot of y'all always say, we want to hear from somebody other than Reggie. That was somebody that's willing to come on and and, and, and that has, uh, what's that word that they use? The autorism or something like that? Oh, oh John. Yeah. yeah. He, he has a great with that to, to bring new people to the channel. Uh, a lot of people did unsubscribe according to what they said, but John can tell you and he can show you 
that we probably got since that interview about three or four hundred new subscribers. So that's why we do stuff like that with other people. So yeah, that would be my answer. But I understand, and and the question wasn't meant to to uh, be disrespectful to Tupac at all. The no. question was meant to show you where he gets that information from. It was for not to be disrespectful to Tupac at all. Don't make sense to be disrespectful to Tupac. Number one, he's not with us anymore. And number two, most of the people who's on here is to hear stories about Tupac. Reggie, what you got, Kendrick or Drake? You know I'm West Coast, but I like Drake, y'all. Uh, Kendrick... <sighs> Kendrick... Has Kendrick had a great album? I think Kendrick might have waited too long to, to be considered a relevant artist to me from his sophomore album. I think he might have waited. I think he took a vacation too long. But shit, Drake, Drake drop anything and he's good. So I guess I will have to go with with Drake, even though I like to support my my uh my West Coast people. They say Drake the best female rapper. Okay. If you say so. My girl Miss Boo says she was riding with Drake, so I'm riding with Drake now. I know what to play for. Kendrick come off. Yeah, I know. See, that's he's like Dr. Dre. He, he you know, but I guess if you don't take much for him to live. Yeah. Where, because he's not one to, to to be out there in the clubs and buying fancy stuff and all of that. So, hey, so, why do you think Snoop told DPG not to? Uh, wait a minute, what was that? Why do you think Snoop told DPG? I I told that, that if you listen to my interview today, brother, shit that he was mad. That's how niggas do when they mad. They they we clickish. If you got a click right, they just got into it Monday or Tuesday. Don't y'all remember to um, Snoop saying how he was fearful? Ride on a plane with, with your, a hood over your your head and a knife in your hand from New York to to L.A. That got to kind of feel uncomfortable, right? But anyway, so that that showed you how they feel. He told y'all when he got off the plane. How Tupac kind of like shrugged him off, like nigga, like nigga, man, leave me the fuck alone. And so you know, nigga, tell you that you gonna still be, gonna still be there. Hey, when we leaving for Vegas? <laughs> no, nah, nigga, shit, Snoop figured he was just as big as Pop. Fuck you, then fuck you, then you know. That's how I took it. You gotta cut. No, you know what, Bally? I, I don't. I'm not country. I, I, I kind of got like I got sinus or something right now. I don't know what the fuck going on with me. Y'all been noticing I've been breathing a little heavy and shit. Probably because I'm picking up all this weight back. I don't know what it is, but I, I've, I've been going to get some doctor. I told y'all on a previous interview that my PSA levels is high. I went and I went and had a uh, what you call that today? Uh, uh what did I said I had John. What, Not uh, the CT bio. or blood work? Yeah, yeah, the CT. I had a CT um, exam today, so Monday I may be happy or crying. They come telling me something going on, but then they going in my ass. What day? Uh, the twenty fifth to take some pinches out. I did that before, and uh, it came back, you know, okay. So hopefully I don't have prostate cancer, but I've been dealing with that. But that wouldn't have anything to do with my uh with my breathing. So anyway. For those that care, I know a lot of y'all can give a fuck, but I know I do have a few people out there that care. So yep. That's why I report it. For those of y'all that don't care, well, pray for me anyway. Maybe Reggie was working for the JDL like Diddy. Okay. Thank you for that four ninety nine. If you um, want to, you pay four ninety nine to say that. We keep it coming, brother. You can keep talking shit to me. <laughs> uh, somebody sent uh, his his name is nobody, but nobody sent a super chat and said <clears throat> Snoop's up to a hundred million, and his sister has got a GoFundMe page. I don't know how true that is, but he talking about rage. Talking about rage. Oh, oh, gotcha. 
I, I agree. I agree. I agree. That's all I can say is I agree. That would never happen to me. That would never happen to somebody that uh that I that I love, that I call myself love. John, if I had ten million dollars and John needed a million or shit, who else? James Art the dialogue, James. I can think of a lot of people need a million dollars and I had it. And it's for something that they really need. It's done. There's no questions with me. But that's me. Everybody's not like that. <clears throat> Amir Muhammad, not Poochie, killed the greatest rapper of all time. Who, Biggie? Biggie's the greatest rapper of all time in your mind. Okay. Well, I don't... You, you said two things that I don't agree with, but okay. Yeah. Work on your diet. Yeah, that has a lot to do with it, but I was 50 or 60 pounds lighter a year or two ago, and I think I was still having the issues. And y'all was saying I was dying then. I was looking like Dell. So I can't win with y'all. When I pick up my weight, and <laughs> I need to work on my diet when I was when I thought I was the finest thing around. Y'all was like, that nigga look like Dell. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> um, T Save. said, question, Reggie. When, when Tupac went overseas to do the Versace fashion show, uh -huh. Was that for Papa G or was that something that he worked no, on? No, no, no. That was actually Kodata. That was a uh, uh, Quincy Jones in there that made that happen. Uh, actually, Kodata made that happen. Somehow they met at a party. What was the guy name with the shirts? Uh, Versace? Was it Versace? Yeah. Oh, was it a Versace shirt he had on? Yeah, I think that was Versace. But whoever it was, whatever designer that was, they had met somewhere with Kodata and they made it happen. So it was Frank, Michael Moore, Pop, and Kadada was the four people that went. Papa G had nothing to do with it or Death Row. Yeah. See. Hey, Reggie, why don't you ever ask Wack 100 about the Snoop snitch allegation when he's over here talking about... Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I never really asked him any questions, to be honest. Uh, John does. But, um, and never even thought to, to associate Wack and Snoop together. I don't even know their relationship really until I hear their interviews. Then I'd be like, oh, they know each other. I, I have no independent um, knowledge of Snoop and uh, Wack having a relationship, but I do, and I have seen something recent where the game was around Snoop. But that's probably why it never comes come across to me. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Chicago's <laughs> in this bitch. Are y'all winning on uh, Jose Gonzalez? Who, who what's the update on the game? This is Chicago winning or is uh or is Atlanta winning? David Kenner loves the JDL. I don't think David Kenner loves the JDL, but I think David Kenner fears the JDL, if you want to keep it keep it real. But I do think he, he fears it. Reggie, you still talk to the laws. I talked to Noble, Mutal, Nutso, uh, Wagdus. Um, I can't talk to Edie, you know, through Facebook Messenger or, or message, but I wouldn't just call him. But any of the, uh, the other four that I named, I, I, I could call at any time. Can you confirm the secondary autopsy photos posted years ago with the projectile post? The only autopsy po photo that I ever saw was the one that Kathy Scott posted in her book that she admits, and there's an interview with her on Bomb First about that, a live stream that we did years ago, where she admits that she was given that photo from a detective that was at the autopsy that took the pi took the picture unauthorized that used to live in the apartment building that she lived at. And so uh, that's the only autopsy picture I ever saw. Now, my father, uh, when they came down to interview uh, 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 Edie and, uh, and uh, uh, Gaddafi, 
and while they the Vegas PD was was there doing the raids, uh, they brought the autopsy book down on one of those two times, either that time or the time when they came down. When y'all see Rick Becker talking to uh to uh to Orlando with a yellow police jacket on, there's, there's some photos of that out there. Either one of those two times, or when they came down for the probation off the probation hearing on sugar violation. They show they had the books with them, and my father has always said they always try to act like they wasn't there to investigate the uh, the murder. They were there investigating uh, the assault that took place by Shug. But he would always said, "Well, why in the fuck they got the murder book with them?" And so he always thought that was strange. But uh, but he saw a uh, the, the autopsy photo that at that time him and Bobby Ladd. So. Yes, but um, the the one that Kat, Kathy Scott posts, I don't know. Um, I know some of the uh, things in the autopsy report, which I'm glad this trial. I hope the trial really do happen, and it, and keep you just don't plead out because there's some things that need to be answered. Like you know, what they say like Tupac was like six feet or six two or something, uh, which we know he wasn't that tall. If Tupac was 5'8", I'll be surprised. And so there's a lot of things that needs to be cleared up. Yeah. Reggie was the first Crip or Crip Beep in Compton. Oh, yeah. See, stuff like that, you have to go talk to my boy, Melly Mel Show, Professor Mel, or my boy, I know Alex probably gone because he usually jump in and out. The, the People like that will know that. Reggie Sr. would probably be able to tell me, or Rick Baker. We did an interview with this guy named Sergeant Baker, who was uh, a cop before my dad that knew a lot of the gang stuff. Sergeant Baker. Uh, matter of fact, Alex Alonzo did an interview with him. People like that be, have to be able to answer that. Uh, but yeah, Crips have always had issues with each other, though. Reggie, what's your favorite food? Steaks and potatoes. Can't you tell? I'm a fat boy. And tacos. I can eat tacos all day, too. Did Death Row ever work with Armenian power? You know, Suge started messing with some Armenians uh, in like 2007, 2006. But other than that, that would be the only ones I know about. But th but that was Suge. I don't I don't know. Ready? That's a good question. How tall was Park? He had to be taller than five eight. I don't think so, cause I'm not five eight, and he wasn't taller than me. And I think I'm just bragging about the five eight. Uh, y'all have to really look at some pictures of people where he was standing next to to really get a good gauge on that. Uh, I guess that picture with Frank. Frank wasn't five. Frank was about five nine. Frank was this big because he was he was mus muscular, and he wasn't taller than than Frank. So. I don't know. I never really saw a picture with him just standing by somebody at the gauge, but from what I know, I would never put him over 5'8". Yeah. He just said Shahi was was his neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, he lived right behind me. We Our, our back doors live right behind each other. Yeah. Shahi and Reggie were friends, but to be honest, if y'all trying to put the Shahi connection together uh, for the murder of, of Biggie for whatever reason, um, I, I don't know if that's where y'all going. But I didn't move to Ladera Heights until 2001. And so me and Shahi didn't become neighbors until 2000, 2001. Yeah. When is Lil C's? Seastyle, ooh, Seastyle got an L, man. I talked to these little Seastyle about a week or two ago. He got an L. So he had to get a governor or somebody, to, you know, that probably let him let him out. And Shahid from Compton, Shahid's not from Compton, but he ran the mosque. He um, uh, uh, opened up and was in charge and had a lot of connections at the mosque that was on Long Beach Boulevard and Compton Boulevard, right across the street from that Shell gas station. If anybody knows, uh, I think it was 47, 48. I don't know. Don't get me lying. But the mosque right across the street from the Shell gas station on Long Beach and Compton Boulevard. Yeah.
Yeah, when do you get Nick Bone on here? Yeah, I answered that question earlier. Please go back and listen to the live stream and you'll hear my response about Nick Bone. But we talked about Nick Bone earlier. Big dog. What do you think about the DPG reunion? I told y'all that was coming because those niggas going to need to make some money, do some shows in the summertime. You know, the COVID is over. People are back doing shows. And, and yeah, <laughs> shows is big right now. Uh, talk about rapper Storm. Storm was good. I, I, did y'all enjoy that little footage we put up of her rapping with, uh, with, uh, What's that girl name? What the boy? With, with Gaddafi? Y'all see how she looked? Her hair was always fly. Always had her hair, uh, you know, straight. Uh, she was kind of, well, she had five kids, so I ain't saying she, you know, she was definitely a girly girl, but what I saw about her, you know, the tattoos, she always wore oversized t-shirts, and she was the type of female that wears sweat socks with some, with some, uh, I don't know. Do females do that from the East Coast and stuff? Where the Timberlands was sweat socks? Yeah. I'm not used to females like that. Timberlands and, and sweat and sweat socks and jeans. And that's not my type of female. But I bet you when she took that stuff off and went and jumped her ass in the shower, I bet she looked good because she had that beautiful hair like I like female hair. Yeah. Do you think Suge was sending? Let's see. Do you think you were message by by mentioning your mother uh, initially the first time I did, but then the second time when he purposely said I'm not trying to throw no jab or no shots, and then I took it like okay, and then when I my father told him about why are you getting so mad about that he always asks about your mama he always say that every time he talked to him personally. Or privately, he always said that was the first thing he asked about. So, I I may have overreacted on that uh, video that I did a, a month or two ago, especially after hearing him on episode fifteen say, "Red, I'm not trying to be funny about that." Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Mark Crowley sent a five dollar super chat. He said, "Give a final or review of TPD's height as a D boy." Was he a snap or was he a legit big time at one point? Okay. All right. That's that's a good question. That's that take me about five minutes, but I'll do it. Keefy D, y'all know y'all y'all heard me call him a crackhead, right? I'm sure y'all have if y'all listening to me. So Keefy D history goes back to in the 80s, he was a crackhead, he was a smoker, but he did go in go to jail. And sometime in the late 80s for shooting into a, a dwelling and then shooting into somebody's house. Now, him and this dude named Scrunch used to do robberies on Long Beach Boulevard. And then, but they, he did go to jail for shooting into somebody's house. So uh, he didn't hit nobody or anything like that. We call that shooting in, into a dwelling, an inhabited dwelling. Or uninhabited dwelling. I don't know if it was occupied or not. Okay. So, but Kiwi had this, this cokehead problem, which a lot of the dudes that y'all listen to and be talking about and, and here, they were either on Coca Sherm back in the in the in the eighties. Or OE. Minimum OE. Because that, that also gave you what we call liquid courage. Crackheads, you didn't really like, though. You, you could tell their fingers, the tip of their fingers be burnt, and their teeth be all fucked up. Crackheads, and they they were just scandalous. All right, so he goes to jail, and he missed me for about four, four or five years. And so when you're in jail, you kind of get cleaned up because you can still get access to cocaine and stuff like that, but not as frequent as you do when you're on the streets. So. Keefe got hooked up and got cool with the Colombians. I got some mix. I got an Asian dude right now to do that went to jail for doing like the master of uh, stealing uh, people profiles and, and 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 credit cards and and get, I mean he was just a master of that, but he got caught. Me and him are tight to this day. I don't, 
You know, he don't want to do nothing like that anymore. And I wouldn't associate it if he did, but I'm on probation. So I can say whatever the fuck I want. But my point is you develop a relationship with other races and stuff like that in prison. Usually because you're protect protecting them motherfuckers <laughs> and looking out for them, you know. And that's what kind of KFD situation was, I think. I don't know. But him and the Colombians got cool. Where they they got a trust relationship. They probably worked together or whatever. So this Colombian, when he got out, or turned or the Colombian when he was in prison with turned him on to somebody. I don't know which way it would happen. And so but there's also this other guy who we always call the boss, the big man that y'all always hear about. I'll just say his initials start. One of his initials has got a P in it. Because everybody told me, y'all better, you better stop saying this nigga name because he's going to get you one day, Reggie. And so I'm going to go ahead and not take the penitentiary or not take the chances. And because I know of something recently that he has done or had done to someone that I never thought he would have had that done too. Y'all get me drunk enough one day I'll show y'all the uh, the videotape of this. It's shocking. But, uh, so anyway, he started working for this guy as well. And his connect. And so they were balling. They balled. He balled all the way out from the time he got out of prison until, as he said, when, when Tupac uh, got killed. 1990, uh, 1996. So they were balling. Keefe was doing his thing, you know, making money, working for this guy, doing his thing, and his own connection, doing both Sherm and cocaine. Now, he got cut off with the cocaine and uh, from the Columbia when, when, you know, when after Tupac thing happened, he told that story of, you know, how the Colombian cut him off. But he still had this Sherm sure connection. And then that's when he did that all the way until shit. Until uh, the task force got established. Greg Katie's in them task force. And they popped his ass. Now he did get in trouble in like 98 or 99. I forget what it was for. If it was drugs or, the, you know, if it was cocaine or sherm. But he got popped again. So let's show you he wasn't that good of a drug dealer. But he didn't do too long on that and got out. And then he got got popped again when Greg Katie's and them task force got set up in 2008 and 2009. So that'll be KVD uh, drug history and what happens. All right. I hope that answered your question. Ready during the death row years, any stories of y'all Linwood? Or never hung out in that area. No, 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 no. You know, once we got out of high school, we mainly was, even when we was going to Linwood, I was still mainly, all my stuff was in Compton. I worked at a grocery store in Linwood called Big D Ranch Market over on Fernwood and Long Beach Boulevard all the way until I graduated from high school. But once I, no, I didn't really go back to Linwood once I graduated from, uh, from high school, no. And then Shug went to El Camino College, which was in um, Gardena, and then he went to UNLV. And so I don't think he went back either as well. Can you talk about loss from Denver Lane? Well, Y'all ask about loss a lot. Man, you got to be my boy uh, D. War posing as somebody else because he always asks about loss. I don't know big loss. I, 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 I didn't know about big loss from Denver Lane. But he always asks me about big loss. My boy D Ward. <clears throat> John, you see that super chat? Can you read it for me? Oh no. Uh Reggie, do you think mob the mob guys at Death Row would had a major problem with Tupac if Shug would have died in Vegas and Tupac had lived? Pac started the fight. Woo. Uh no. They didn't look at it like that. They did not look at it as Pac starting a fight. Um, they looked at it as, you know, being down. No. Um, no. They would have been trying. Everybody would have been trying. Now, they would have had a problem with Pac if he would have 
jump sets again. And I'm not saying he was game banger or anything like that. I'm not gonna put that on Pac. Uh, I, I I believe that, but I'm not gonna put that on him. What I mean by jump sets was he would start going hanging with Big Psych and his boys. You know what I mean? I hope y'all do. I think then that would have been the only problem. Yeah. But no, I don't think they would have had a problem with, with what he did. Yeah. I mean, what, what happened? No, 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 I don't believe that. I think that, that was Park Way of showing loyalty to them and to who he is with. The mob paru beef with other hoods outside of Compton. Well, their their main or enemy was one in Linwood called the Palm and Oaks Crips. They had uh, which was a couple of streets over. Uh Palm and Oaks. Yeah. I don't know Taco by that name, sure. Okay. What happened to the crazy dude who said he flew Tupac away? I, th I don't know. I don't even listen to people like that. I wish that was true. I wish something like that was true. I wish that was true, but would you really respect Tupac Shakur? Y'all tell me the truth. Y'all tell me in the comment section. Hopefully John must have went and walked his dog. I wish he would have told me. But y'all tell me in the comment section if uh, if Tupac, y'all find out Tupac is a lie and he's been hiding somewhere because he was fearful for his life or that he uh, that he didn't want to do that time, the, those two or three years le left in prison. Would y'all still love Tupac as much as y'all do? Mm. Honest answer. Mark Crawley. While y'all typing that in so I can read it and see what y'all responses will be, I want to answer this question from Mark Crawley. He says, Stretch dying a year to the day confirmed it was the message sent. Or was it really unrelated? Huh. I believe it was a message sent. That's my opinion. Reggie, are you a booty bandit? Your mother may say that. Yeah, your mama might tell me that. But I just like filling on it because I know next time you, if you ever had some pussy before, Next time you get some pussy, make sure you rub her, rub her good and get her real liquid and get her wet and stuff and stick your finger in there. Not too hard. Just ease your finger in there and watch how that bitch acts when she coming. Just try it, bro. Learn something from your boy. Try it. But don't just stick your fucking hand in there dry, idiot. Make sure she's wet as a motherfucker. Try it. You'll thank me later. Or she may come back and thank me. Ready? Tell us more about Suge Dating Maya. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ready? Was that your channel eleven? Let's see. Ready? Was that you on channel eleven? Yeah, that was me. What's up? What's up, Deuce Time? Deuce Time. What up, man? What happened to Marvin Watkins? Yeah, I know. I want to show y'all that video, but uh, that might cause, might get me beat up. I got that video of that whole incident. I don't ask John when he come back if he could play it. If you, I might lose my whole goddamn, I may lose my whole live stream. We won't be able to post it if I show it. But I had a, the video of that incident. Yeah. I don't see what John say. What? Cause I don't care about no stream video. What are we talking about? Huh? What are we talking well, about? I told you to tell me when you be leaving. I was just talking oh. and actually, no, I was going. I got a video that they wanted to see that I was thinking about showing them. That video I sent you. That video I sent you of my boy getting shot. What? <laughs> Oh, you don't remember? Well, you be boy. The video I showed you of a guy getting shot. Shit, I, I, there's no way I would have saved it, but I, I don't even know how long ago you should. But if you, if it's on YouTube or shit, send me the link. I'll play it. 
We won't be able to put this back up, but I don't care. That's what I told him. That's what I told him. That's what I said. That I might not. We won't be able. To... All right, y'all tell us this. Thing. Do y'all want to see a video of a guy getting shot, or do y'all want to be able to come back and listen to the live again? How much do how much do lies get? We only make about a hundred dollars off these lies. Y'all give us a hundred dollars worth of super chat, so I'll put it up. Come on, y'all. Y'all want to see a good video? Ah, it's not a good video because it's not a good thing. I don't know. I you know what? I can't do it. That's I can't do it, y'all. I can't do it. Cause I I I have a lot of respect for his uh, uh I have a lot of respect for his wife and stuff. So. Yeah, and that's bad. That's you know what we shouldn't promote that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no, I ain't gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it, y'all. So don't even ask. I'm not gonna do it. But it's why well, it's yeah, yeah. What, what would you tell me, John, to, to talk about? Uh, well, I don't know. You just text me something. Uh, somebody said you may answer this while I was gone, but somebody said, Reggie, tell us about Maya and Shug dating, which I couldn't believe that that was true. I know it's true, but I couldn't believe when you told me that. Yeah, it was temporarily. You know, Shug, Shug, Shug is a very charismatic guy and, and know how to talk to females. Uh, and then you got to remember, a lot of those females had bad deals. And, you know, Eve, I remember when Eve, shit, Eve was so scandalous. She had Stevie J in the room with her while she was going out with Shug just to try to get up under him and get close with him to get her deal better with uh with uh you know with, with Interscope because she knew he had a re good relationship with Interscope. Now, every time he tried to kiss her and stuff like that, she would pull away and stuff like that mm -hmm. and, and all of that. But she knew how to play the female game. Was she dating Stevie J at the time? She, he was in the room at the W Hotel when, oh, okay. when, because he he laughed because you know you know my boy the realist and Stevie J are real tight, yeah. And so he was like, yeah, because we took her shopping. She went to Men's Land and he gave her a a fur jacket and all of that. And he said, yeah, you know she gave me that jacket, you know Stevie. And I knew Stevie J wasn't lying because I remember when, when we got her the jacket. He was like, shit, I tell y'all, I was in the room. When she came back, you know, and and and, and he gave her a ten thousand dollar jacket. And she she gave that shit to me. Yeah. So anyway, but you know, she 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 used to work the the nightclubs and stuff, so she know how to play the game. I ain't mad at her. Somebody said, "Why can't you get term from mob on?" I, I I you know turn that's Buntry's uh. That's Buntry's son, uh, uncle. So Buntry had a, a baby by her brother. Mm. Uh, and um, but term, you know, I could get term. I, I mean, I know term, but term, you know, I I don't have no major major relationship with term. You know, lately I, uh. You know, since he's been doing the things running around with when he was running around with Baron Davis and and, and, and my boy uh, Harden and all of them and Lil Wayne and them. But if I reached out to him, I'm sure I could get him. I just never try to reach out to him. But I don't have an active phone number on term right now. But I never was asked. Nobody have ever asked me to get term. Yeah. You think um, because of case they okay. Okay. Let me ask this one for the twenty dollars super chat. Um, but somebody okay. said, Reggie, what was up with the red rag in Shug's hand in the BMW? Uh, in the final photo of him and Tupac in Vegas, because I know the answer, but they don't yeah. know. But yeah, you could explain that. Oh uh, well, I I would think the it was a this a, a towel. Shug, don't y'all yeah. know what Shug they call Shug? What what Pac always called Shug? What was Shug? What was Pac's? Uh. Moniker for sure. What did he call him? Anybody know? He called him Sweaty Head. You remember? And so, Shug, Shug boy, if y'all know, if y'all ever seen the old pictures of Shug while he's partying, while he's partying, Shug be sweating. <laughs> he be sweating. He be soaking wet. 
Yeah, so he yeah, had always two at the end oh, yeah. of the blues concert. Uh, so he always he had it in the House of Blues concert too. He always had a rag. Anytime he was in a club, when it was hot situation, he he always had a towel to wipe his head because he sweated a lot. He didn't sweat like you know, like under his arms or anything like that. So one thing mm -hmm. about Shug, you always knew when Shug was in the area. You take his phone, you he he. I swear, if that nigga didn't use a bottle of cologne a day, <laughs> I'll be surprised. But he, he his body carries scent good. You know, uh, cause and he nice use nice good you know good smelling cologne all the time, where you could tell that shit was was at that area, even when he had cigars. You know, you either smell the cigar or you smell this cologne. Mm. And uh, uh, but anyway, but he he did sweat he sweat a lot at the head. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Joe sent a twenty dollars super chat that said, Reggie, I don't remember hearing you speak on the Rampart scandal. The movie City of Lies touches on the subject. In the uh, in this film, was Death Row's involvement with the Ram Hart scandal depicted accurately? I can honestly say that uh, we didn't know any of the officers that worked that they accused us of knowing, like Rafael Perez, David Mack. We didn't know. Them. Now, Shug's ex-wife a strange wife at the time, was dating Kevin Gaines. We don't even know that Kevin Gaines were cool with, with them, but it appears that they were. Now, the reason that everybody associate Kevin Gaines to Rafael Perez, Rafael Perez and they alleged that they set up this cop named Liga, the cop that shot that shot uh, Kevin Gaines, they signed his name on the uh, the narcotics slip to, to pull out the dope that they stole. And they put his name down. And they said that they set him up in retaliation for for uh, killing Kevin Gaines. Now, that could be true. Or it could have just been a black and white thing where they was like, hey, you know, fuck this white cop that killed this black cop. And then the reason why they, uh, you know, use his name. But most people would say they did it because that was their friend. And they were all together. But there's no association of Kevin Gaines ever really working Rampart Division and knowing no particular cops. Y'all think all cops know each other. Y'all got to understand. LAPD, there's about ten to 11,000 cops. Can you honestly say you know 11,000 people? Can you honestly say you know 1,000 people? I can't. Now, I don't know if I know. I mean, I might have 1,000 people that I went to high school with. But outside of going to high school with people, can you really say you know 1,000 people? Hmm. So, but that, that's where all of that comes from, guys. So the answer would be no, that City Lines didn't depict it. No, I, I, to be honest, you know, I ain't watched no shit like that. So yeah. all I saw was that, that intro, that, that beginning. And once I saw that, I, I, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Tony Montana hit up, hit, hit, hit Kaza, whatever that means. Oh, I guess he wants y'all to play something. I guess they send you 279 to play something. I don't know. And then somebody send you $5. Uh, okay. But Jevon Baines, appreciate that. Uh, John will do whatever needs to be done for that. And Tony Monta Montoya, Montoya, hit, hit, hit Kaza, whatever that means. Appreciate that, man. <laughs> whatever that means. Yeah. Um, let's see. Reggie, did Trayvon and Pooh Ryder fight? No, they did not fight. But there were some things said in the car that made a nigga bitch down like a little bitch was very very embarrassing if you believe if you grew up in the mob area to what he did or did not do but pretty much Muntry was like I'll take that fade he ain't gonna take that fade yeah Reggie I sent a super chat asking about Rampart all right thanks Joe Joe Olin I hope I answered your question we did uh, okay I sent my okay I sent my five dollar question is do you think uh, the diddler huh, would diddle 
his way out of this case. You know, an agency like that, and as Gene Deal said, and I have to once agree with him on something, they minimum they're gonna get him on something, y'all. Uh even if it's just some tax things like they did Al Capone. They the government, when they go at you like that, they're gonna get you on something. How many people have you ever seen them go at high profile like that? That they didn't eventually get you for something. Mm -hmm. I.e. Donald Trump. They raided him and then came and got him later. Uh somebody else said, Oh, Keefe D. I'm just trying to throw up people recently that we know got their properties raided and then they came back a few months later and arrested. I never dealt with Nipsey Hussle, uh, Michelle. Yeah. There was a super chat where they asked if you could tell a drunk Michelle A story and asked if you've ever met FG. Oh, yeah. I met FG uh, a couple of times, mainly with my boy Bob Gotti. Bob Gotti and FG were real cool. And uh, I, I've been in the presence of him at the office a couple of times when he was came up there with Omar Bradley's uh, nephew. Uh, they were trying to bring some rapper around. I seen them then, and but mainly, uh, uh, mainly, uh, yeah, that would that would be it. Um, uh, and then the other person was who? Michelle. Who's other? Oh, Michelle. Are there any drunk stories about Michelle? I just look at her on stage. I mean, Michelle was Michelle was wild out. Michelle was actually a beautiful girl. If you ever look at her in her eyes and stuff like that, she has beautiful eyes. The most beautiful eyes you ever see. Oh, uh, Michelle just Michelle is actually not a bad person, in my opinion. She just very opinionated and was. Empowered a lot by Shug, and people didn't respect her power because they looked at her as a girlfriend of Dr. Dre that he didn't care about. And then Shug put her on a pedestal, and, uh, and people didn't like that. That's all. But um, that's all I would say. She know how to get, she must got some bomb something. Cause she know what, how to get what she want from men. That's all I can say. Will Puffy take down Jay-Z with them? Huh? You know, people always say that, but you can't just say stuff. And, uh, Reggie killed Tupac. Reggie killed Biggie. You can't just say that. You got to be more to it. You know, this one, once you get in trouble, than to get you in trouble. Now, people can make accusations like that, you know, and, and the reason why I said that because people ask about will Puffy bring Jay-Z now. He could say, yeah, Jay-Z was at the freak-off parties with me or Jay-Z did this or Jay-Z did that. But then you have to back it up with some type of proof, some videos, or that gives them enough to bring you in and, and question you. But all you got to do is say lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> That's all you just keep saying. If you don't want to say nothing, I'm telling you people. I'm telling y'all, if y'all ever get in any trouble, if y'all ever get in any trouble, hopefully y'all won't ever be in this position. But if you're going to get down, please don't get down without saying lawyer and wait until that motherfucking lawyer come. If y'all take any advice from Reggie Wright from all of this shit, if you're ever in a box, don't think you're smarter than them and you're going to talk your way out of it. Because they only need one slip up. Y'all know how y'all do on YouTube. I get caught in one lie that y'all can prove that my credibility is shot with y'all. There's some of y'all that believe y'all don't caught me in a lie. That's why my credibility is shot with y'all. But those that ha don't feel that way, y'all catch me in a lie that y'all can prove, I my credibility will be shot with y'all. But uh, That's why I tell y'all, even with law enforcement, that's how they think. So just shut the fuck up. Wait till your lawyer get there and then decide what's the appropriate thing for you to do. 
that that would be my only advice to y'all. The fabulous have to pay you guys. Oh, I never heard that. The song Nate Dog that sounded like uh Ambition of a Writer. Not to my knowledge, uh, but you'll have to know who's Ambition of a Writer. Ain't that the P we heard Herman sample, John? Yeah, but they oh. did like a rendition of the of the chorus. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's what usually you Shook had a, what a, what he did was and if that was one of his publishers. He had a deal with Warner Chapel, Warner Chapel Music Group Publishing. And so that was their job to find stuff like that. And so they would just send it to you once they get it worked out. But they that's what Warner, that's what your music publisher uh, actually job to do, stuff like that. And that's why you pay people administrative deals or you pay give people a little percentage to have people uh, to do stuff like that. Who would win a fight, Bunch or Nick Bone? Ooh, that would be a good one. I think Nick Bone, because I, I, I'm a little biased to think Nick Bone is stronger than stronger person that I ever had to deal with. Because Nick Bone was strong. Uh, but most of the homies, like Bob Gotti and them, they'll tell you, Bunch or ask a fight. So, yeah. Yeah. Reggie, how did Death Row get Timberland to remix Snoop's Dogfather track? Oh, when was that done, John? See, stuff like that, you know. That was 90, I, early 97. But Timberland was around before he got big with, with the rock. You call him. Oh, with, 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 with uh, your boy, with my boy. Uh, 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 with my boy. What's his name? Uh, Swain, Swain, Dante. Oh, Devante. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was one she had a relationship with uh with uh the Devontae Swain. Yeah. Yeah. Respect Anton Martinez. Uh, now Heron wasn't as big as y'all think. Uh Heron looked big on some some pictures when he got out, but Heron had got real small, so Nick Bone would have ate Heron up. But Heron wasn't no punk either. <laughs> None of those niggas was punk. Hey, did I tell y'all? I don't know if that interview came out yet. That's I may not want to say it, but uh, Rock Chisholm, y'all. We we did an interview, and that's going to come out. Y'all may see it, but I'm going to go ahead and let it out. Uh, he's not doing well. He has uh, stage four cancer. Uh, and so y'all say some prayers out for Rock, for Todd, for Todd Chisholm. Big Rock got knocked. This one's for you. Yeah. Yeah, he's not doing well at all. So, but I think we're gonna talk about that in an interview coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, Timlin also said he proud no more pain for pot. Oh, okay, wow. didn't know that. Huh. Yeah, stage four. Yeah. Did you? Sure sure. Yes. Sorry. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Uh, Jane said, Jane's disappointment is he didn't pay for the tombstone and do mm -hmm. some other things that he promised to do. But yes, he did. Yes. Yeah. Reggie, have you ever heard of Donovan the Illuminati? He claims to be a co-founder of Tupac. What? Yeah, somewhere at all on Instagram who claims that he was the mastermind. <laughs> He's my Facebook friend. He's my Facebook friend, and oh, he don't God. appear to be a guy that got nothing like uh, he I think he's more of a uh, fan. Yeah. Sorry, the guy asked again for another drunk Michelet story. The guy who did a super chat, he said, John, can you tell me oh, the oh. question I paid for? I asked for a drunk Michelet story. And you said, look at the video up on the page. Oh, I did say that. A yeah. drunk Mr. Lay. What you obsessed with Mr. Lay drunk stories for? I mean, she... Okay, look at the video at the Christmas party then. <laughs> oh, man. Why you hate Mr. Lay so bad? Why you want to hear something bad? I'm trying to be a nice a nice person. Uh, I mean... Oh, boy. Uh, Mr. Lay. Michelle, uh, 
I mean, goddamn, come on, man. Give him his money back, John. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I, Why does this I guy mean, keep asking, did you pay for Heron's funeral? I did. I did. Four times. No, I thought he said, sure. Oh, sure. No. Oh, no. Same sure guy. didn't either. No, no. I didn't. And sure didn't. I don't even remember their family asking for any help. I'm sure we would have if they did, but Shug was incarcerated, and I was dealing with Defro at the time, and, and I don't remember being asked, but I did go. I did go to him around funeral, but I don't remember. I can't say. I'm sure we might have cut a little check or something, gave something, but I, I can't honestly say at this time. The Oprah party at Diddy's, I wouldn't know. I'd never been, I, I, I'd never been in a... That would be a, a question for Jane Dill. Yeah. 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 Hit me up on Cash Out, man. I'll send you five dollars back. I, I I don't really have a drunk Michelin. Twenty nine, to be honest. So. Oh okay. I'll re I'll try to refund it if it lets me. I don't I don't know how that works. To be yeah. Ask another question. I'll ask that question, bro. We ain't giving no refunds. Well, ask something else. She was at the Christmas party and she was towed up there. You want to see her like that? Did Shug deal with BML? You know, Shug dealt with, uh, he dealt with Meech. I know because I got a letter from Meech because Shug address used to go to my P.O. box. And I got a letter from Meech and I know they did some type of deal where Shug gave $100,000 to Meech attorney. In like 2007, 2008, something like that. They did some deal with E1 and Koch. And, and she cut a check. But he didn't deal with me while I was around. But I know that happened. Here's one, Reggie. It says, why does Sharitha think you're talking too much? In all caps, which I figured people would run with that. But he said, um, I had no idea your house got raided over Biggie. Why did they raid your house? All right, I'll tell that story. Okay. So Russell Poole, uh, it got had a, a Shook had a celly, uh at um a CMC, and so uh, Shook Selly at CMC, they had wired his his uh, his cell. If y'all know anything about Shook, he talks a little bit. But I don't think he's this stupid. And so Suge Sully claimed that or, 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 or had a microphone in there and they heard that Suge say, allegedly, according to Russell Poole, that Reggie, Reggie took care of that for me. That Reggie took care of that. And so they just knew the name Reggie. So Russell Poole in his affidavit, the search warrant, he put uh, in there that Reggie, you know, he put in there that somebody named Reggie did this and did that. And they checked Suge visiting logs. At that time, I had visited Suge about 60 some time. And they said Reginald, who visited Suge 60 some times in prison, and they concluded that it was me, Reginald Wright. Then they, you know, I'm sure once they started investigating and found out that I worked tough for Shug and was, you know, running his operation and stuff, they started thinking, okay, this is the Reginald. But it didn't just end there. Shug had a Chevy Impala that was a uh, burgundy, like a burgundy in color or Chevy Impala. Y'all know uh, Paula was supposed to have did the drive-by. Huh. Subsequently, I was trying to get everything out of Shug and Death Row's name. And so I was putting the the name of the and Paula we was going through this this company that, that did transfer titles, transfer. And I was putting Apollo in Ms. Chalet's name. Cause because she was going to start dri driving that car around. Or just to have the car. Uh, it was actually in a storage. She wasn't driving it around. But I was putting it in her name. I was putting names in. I was putting stuff in my name. Teresa Swan name. And, and uh, Michelle name. Those are the three persons that he was trusting at the time. 
And so I put the car in, in, in Mission Lane's name. But luckily, I didn't use her address. I used her grandmother's address. And so this detective, uh, well, this guy, when we were trying to get the name, said, hey, the the D, DMV um, inspectors want to come in and look at the car that you're trying to change over her name. And I knew shit, everything was legit. We don't do no chop shops or no stolen cars or nothing like that. So I was like, okay, yeah, they can come. So me and Shug talked about it. Like, yeah, yeah, they can show it. They can, you know, they can come and see the. But I didn't want to expose the storage because I had a storage where I had all the Shug cars at. That's why, if you ever see when they were raiding, when they raided the office, yeah, I'll see the car come, come rolling by on a flatboard. The the Impala, it came rolling. But you know me, I'm all. If y'all know anything about me, especially back then, I'm always late to 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 wherever I was supposed to be. And so I went to the storage and I, I didn't drive the cars because most of the cars, because I was trying to get it registered, right? So the tags were probably expired and all that. But I had AAA or, or the storage company come in and, and, and pick up the car from the storage. It was out in, uh, in Oxnor. It was off of Oxnor, but I forget the city. Or Lita or somewhere. It was somewhere far. Uh, off to, it was out there off the 170 freeway. Any of y'all from LA know it near Burbank from the storage where I had and I would have the car coming you know so I had the car coming and at that time I got a phone call that my house was getting raided and then I called up the death row and they told me oh nothing's happening then as I was on the phone the lady said oh yeah they jumping over the fence right now <laughs> raided and so anyway they raided uh, Death Row, my house, and then Mr. Lay's grandmother's house because they tried to say that we were trying to hide the car that, or they suspected the Impala that had did the drive-by shooting on uh, on Biggie. Like, we're going to use a car of Shugs that's registered to Death Row to do a drive-by. They That's stupid. But, and so that's why they uh, was able to get a search warrant for my house and Death Row and uh, Michelle's grandmother house. That happened in like 98 or 99. Yeah. Yeah, that story sounds shady. So okay. Whatever. Was we that, gonna use that it. in the office or that was a different time? Yeah, that was the first time the office got raided. That was the first okay. time. Gotcha. And that's and when they moved. They, the same time they hit Michelle's house too, right? They, her grandmother, not her house. Her grandmother. Gotcha. gotcha. They, the house that they hit on mine, shit. I, I lived in the marina. They hit my house in Corona. That uh, scared my daughter. My daughter's still scared of the fucking police. So punk ass motherfuckers. Mm. But anyway, yeah. That's why I always had a disdain for Russell Poole. Because he knew he could have just called. And, you know, we were cooperative. Yeah. But that's what happened. That's why they hit the houses. What did and they find did. at the house? Yeah. What did they find at the house? Well, we're still free, right? We we still free, so it obviously wasn't nothing because it wasn't nothing there. <laughs> and they hit the wrong girlfriend. <laughs> oh my mom! <laughs> Damn. DJ Vlasse said you are all cap. Oh, okay. All right. Why tag? Why Thai guy like kill kill Biggie Jean say? Oh, bow tie guy. You know, I, I answered that question earlier. I think it's worth getting repeated. So the guy that sticks his head in a car, five minutes later gonna go go jump in a car, position himself, get ready to do a drive by. How much sense do that make to a, a uh a normal person, guys? Come on. How much how much sense do they make? Let's let's really break that down. Now, if you're gonna ask me, or if you're gonna call the guy the spot a spotter, I would say okay, whatever. All right. But to actually be the one that does the shooting, do they make any sense to y'all, Johnny? I'm the only one that see it that way. Do, do, do you see it that way? Um, it, it I, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I. I... It's so I'm reading these questions and like one of them is why was Tupac killed with the same caliber weapon that your security used? 
That's oh, just, oh we situation. had one set gun. I it's wish I, I wish I was that good of a security company that all my guys had one set one style of gun. Yeah. Those niggas had their own guns and whatever they had was theirs. I don't know what any of them have. Some carry the revolver. If y'all look at the, you know, some carry revolvers, some carry automatics. We didn't have no one style of gun, sir. Do you have any Big West Crockett? Big West. Big West a good dude. Uh, that's, that was Shug Boy. That's the guy to help get him into the game with Al Heyman. Uh, he also, uh, I remember seeing Big West at Adina Howard. He was uh, managing and doing some stuff with Adina Howard. I like Big West. He was always with Al Heyman. He was always with Ticketman Sam uh, in the boxing ring. And uh, him and Big Chug had a strange relationship, but a good relationship at one time, especially in the early 90s. Late late eighties, big was good dude. He he. The biggest story I have with Big West is uh. Well, I got two. He, you remember that long? Any of y'all guys that watched Soul Train back in the in the uh in the nineties? There used to be an Asian girl that had long long hair that was on Soul Train. Everybody used to like the the cameraman used to show her all the time. That was Big West woman. The chick, the Asian looking chick that had the long hair. And then also Big West and Diamond. That's the guy when that got, they were with us the time when those dudes I told y'all and Keefe D told y'all outside of Club Paradise when he alleges that me and Suge and Buntry and Neckbone went chasing after the guy and shot him up. Uh, uh, he was the guy that got shot, shot in the leg. Uh, that was standing with us when the guys turned around and started busting on us. What up, DJ AG? My boy from uh, It's AG TV. What's up? I'm sure you got something crazy to say. Let me ask you this. Uh, Reggie, we know every time you look left, that's your line. See, I told you, DJ AG, you're going to say something childish yeah. or stupid. I just knew it. You can't help yourself, huh, DJ AG? Man, you lucky I like you so much. I like you a lot, but you are the biggest child in America. <laughs> the oldest the child. Biggest. biggest. You ever seen him? No, nah, I've never seen him. But, yeah. Shit. He's big and old. But he's a good dude. I like him, you know. I don't know why I like that. That's the biggest kid that I like. Oh, here's a super chat. Um BMX one eight oh three five dollar super chat that says, What happened at No Jumper, aka the shooting? Well, that's a simple. It was mm -hmm. a, a guy that's their security guard. He dropped the gun. They say it now, dropped the gun. Gun went off, shot the guy in the leg. Yeah. Supposed to have been one of the security guards dropped the gun and it went off and shot somebody in the leg. Is that possible to drop a gun and it fires? Huh? Is that oh, yeah. That? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. I dropped a gun one time. I was coming out to the grill house. I had no business being that. And I remember that my gun, a 45. I had a 40. It would have towed my leg. Oh, my God. I'm so glad it didn't hit me. Because <laughs> uh, they have those. There's a government issue. Uh -huh. They call it the. Uh, uh, and I dropped, and that trigger went. The Glocks usually don't, generally don't do that because they don't have a a, a, a hammer on it. Uh -huh. But I always kept mine locked and loaded, and I dropped, and that shit, that, whew, I'm just so glad it didn't hit me. Mm -hmm. And I dropped it, it fell out of my holster. Scared this shit out of me. But yeah, they, they go off when you drop them. Especially if you drop them on no hammers. Yeah. Park actor Lindo, you from the south side. How would you, yeah, you know, uh, um, what up, man? And how you doing, Steven? I know you always ask good questions. Reggie has always mentioned that Park X Orlando. You from the South? I, I, heard, that I, 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 I heard that yeah. too. Yeah, but I think it was that Frank's don't make sense. Friends. I can't remember. Yeah, that. you know when Frank, even if you look at Frank, nobody was near Park to hear that but Orlando. Now, if Orlando said that in the in, in, in when he testified for sure, then I would have to agree with that. But Frank was so far behind Park. The homies was so far behind Park. Who who would hear that? 
The only person that could probably say that would be uh would be in Orlando. Now, if he testified to that at Chuck's court hearing, then okay. But that's the only person that could have said that. Orlando would have been the only one. Yes, I agree, Stephen. Yes. So I don't know. Yeah, I gotta remember writers when they be writing stuff, they be putting stuff in there for the book to, to, to make it exciting. What happened to the road chain? I know somebody that's trying to sell one. If y'all want one, <laughs> you got, uh, what do you want, 10000 <laughs> I don't know nobody that want one. The white metal and the road. Was, was the it the death metal. row one? Do what? <laughs> Who has the, the row one? I haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, it was a guy on Facebook that had hit you up that said, like, oh, I'm trying to sell Oh, one. that's what I knew. I saw some. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, that I want the row one. And you better not be who I think you are. You're the <laughs> only person. You're the only person in the history that like the row, the row area, the row rider. <laughs> I bet you that's you posing, especially if it's a picture of Shug. Cause I think you want to suck Shug's dick. Not you, Big Red. Just the, the row rider. I'm talking about. My question, let's see what this says. My make a question. Did you ever hang at Buntry's house when you were an officer or did you guys no. maybe get close when you came to death row? Uh, okay. Well, okay. I thought when we were young, when I was young, my grandmother lived two, two do doors down. So I mm -hmm. used to be over there a lot every Sunday. That was one thing we did at my, my grandmother's house. I have a bunch of cousins and, 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 and nieces. My grandmother, my my dad has sixteen brothers and sisters, and and and, and twelve of them lived out here in um uh, in L.A. Watts area, mainly from the Imperial Courts Housing Projects, is where most of our people are from. And so they used to come over to Grandma House every we call her Momo, I call Momo and Papa, but they came over there every Sunday. That's where we all was playing red light, green light, flashlight. I go hide and see all type of stuff with this nasty girl across the street. I go get it. All that bullshit we used to play as kids, right? Nisi, <laughs> old nasty Nisi. But they, so they lived all over there on Killing. And so we used to go and hang. And then my other cousin lived next door in between Buntry and my grandma's house. My cousin Tony and my uncle Ulysses and all of them. And they had a swimming pool in their backyard. And so everybody used to be over there. And so that's when we all used to hang out and, and know each other uh, for a while. Um, so, we got a $10 super chat, Reggie. Okay. Um, let me see. He says, Reggie, in Tupac's song, intro slash bomb first, the words should shot me are softly spoken prior to the track beginning. What's the story on this? Yeah, take that. That's a great question. Thank you for asking that. I never, people always ask it, and I don't know how to answer it. John did an episode where we broke it down, but John, take it away, brother. Okay, one second. Let me just rename this, because I'm going to present my screen. And Jay, we appreciate you, man. I noticed you've been giving us a lot of super chats, and we appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Let me see if, I, I want to see how this I works. I said Jay, but your name is Joe. I'm sorry, Joe. Joe. Let me see if this comes through. Um, okay, we're going to answer that question. I'm going so we don't have the day of time where John must probably be doing some research right. for you. Okay. You all, right? all right, you got it. Okay. Yeah. Here we yeah. go. This is where it came from. Um, this music video, you can look this up on YouTube. I will play it so you can hear it. In the first few seconds, let me rewind it. All right. Now tell them where that, that comes from, John. It's Daft Punk, and the music video is called The Funk, D-A-F-U-N-K. That's where it doesn't say should have shot me. It's just a sample of street noise. So hopefully that, for five minutes, we'll put that one to rest until it comes back the next day. <laughs> Well, I don't think you answered it well because I still don't know what you said. 
Well, let's you explain it more a little more. Did you hear me play it? Did, did you guys hear and see me play the music video? Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a Daft Punk song called The Funk, which I just told them. They can go on YouTube, look up the music video. It's in the music video. It's a sample of just a, a street noise. I'll link it. In so, you, so you saying so? So what are you saying is that Tupac sampled that at the beginning of that particular album, or that song that Whoever they, they did got the that, song. that album sampled sampled that? Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it doesn't Thank say "shoot me." It just sounds like it. But that was the exactly. long, very, 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 very long time ago. It, literally, if you search "Shug shot me sample," the first thing that comes up "Shug shot me sample." Shug shot me sample debunked. It's literally the first article that comes up. So we get that question asked about at least once or twice a month in the comment yeah. section. And so hopefully, you know, y'all can hear it and understand it. DJ EG, um, he asked, do you think Shug done that on purposely by Shug? Shug was in jail when uh, Machiavelli was finished and was done. Uh, and so most of the, what Machiavelli was done, as y'all seen, John posted up before the album uh, track listing of uh, of of, uh, of Machiavelli. Y'all see, it was about seventeen songs originally, and I think only twelve songs came out uh, because they just rushed to get it out. Uh, it came out in November of uh, '96. Suge was in jail in October of '96. And I'm saying all that to say, I think that final version and all of that was probably submitted right around September before Shug even really, you know, well, you know, was had other issues going on at that time. Um, so that album was pretty much all, already put together and we're ready for release. And so no, Shug went to, uh, did no shit like that. Nobody was even thinking of conspiracy of Suge, Reggie, or anything like that. It was a war that went on in Compton. Those niggas responded to that war in Compton. And uh, it has always been known and, and, and considered by anybody that's from L.A. that the Southside Compton Crips retaliated for the, the incident that happened to MGM. It wasn't until white folks got involved making <laughs> documentaries with dumb Negro security guards that all of this conspiracy stuff started his mama ain't never said no bullshit like that but y'all know how youtube internet grew but it was mainly done by idiots that didn't even know who a fucking tupac was in 1996 that created all of this drama and then no no thanks for sure himself as well Later on, talking about shit, two box alive and and all of that crap. So it was just a you know a big old plot to sell records of the Tupac still alive and all of that stuff that probably blew up in sh in everybody's face to make this this legend stay alive. It might be a good legend. It might be a good legend. Look how many people died during that time. Do we talk about them? Do they have channels like this? They vote. Do Bob Marley have a channel like this devoted to him? That talk about him so much on, and he was a, a key. That's even Elvis. Is there Elvis Tupac YouTube channels out there? I'm sure there's music stuff that's out there and and museums and stuff like that. But do people talk about that as much as we do? Big Pond. How often do we even talk about Big Pond? Never. <laughs> so. You know, fucking uh, so maybe that's why uh, you know, Tupac le uh, legacy is so big. I don't know. Um, Biggie, Biggie, do we really talk about Biggie like that if we ain't really talking about Tupac? So I don't know. Yeah, the dumbest thing I've ever seen, I've ever seen or heard in my life is that the the body double shit. That's the cra that's the most crazy psychotic thing I've ever heard. Mm, yeah. Something, something good. I don't, let me see where it was. Um, it was something. Let me see. Um, yes, he did, DJ AJ. 
He did. Um, John had that picture somewhere of the of the of the or risky. If y'all go to risky forever's uh uh his website or YouTube, uh, I don't know what they call it, but he I think he has a picture of, of that that painting of uh, Tupac and uh not Tupac, a uh, Biggie and uh and then Puffy and a you know ballerina a ballerina dress and uh biggie looking like a pig was that at the office or was that at can or no no that was at the office but i think risky got a copy of it that he puts up but it was a it was shit i had it upstairs on the second floor the third floor in like a storage so it yeah. probably got sold at one of the auctions yeah <clears throat> How um, come 50 took nine and still alive? Oh man, come on. It didn't hit any vital, it didn't hit any vital organs, that's why. Oh, gotcha. Did Tupac even get cremated? Was it? okay. He did get <laughs> he did get cremated and there was a memorial done sometime like uh like November or something like that in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Death Row did not ever officially get one. They had a memorial at the beach that a bunch of a bunch of close close people of the the mother attended. But yeah, bro, we got Fifty in the dome. Okay, all right, bro. Well, I guess because Fifty was a tougher man than Tupac. That's what you want to hear. Is that what you want to say? Ah, damn. Was FG at death row functions? No, not 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 during the heyday, not during the heyday time. Did Big U actually get hit? Man, oh, is that been put out there yet? I was trying to verify when this live stream actually started. Uh, people in LA are reporting that he got arrested, but I don't. Bomb first is not reporting that yet because I can't confirm it. But I have been called about four or five times with people asking me that. So, but still if you notice, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Is, there's still nothing in the news about it yet. So, okay, all right. I'll keep checking. Okay. Who was she the closest homie? Uh, Buntry, Buntry, definitely. Big Jake was more business sense and and you know on the on the spot, but but Buntry was. Was she as close as homie? Reggie, uh, was she really scared of uh, a rat? Rat dog was very, very respected. Uh, and they call him Bunny Roo, which means blood, kind of like a blood and a, 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 a paru thing. Uh, and he was connected with the, the jail politics. And I hear he could fight real well. But when you got a squad and you got money and you can pay niggas to do anything, are you really scared of anybody? You're just scared when you get caught slipping. That's 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 how I would answer that to be more respectful. Miss All right, John, $20 uh, uh, super chat. Thank you for that. It says, Biggie's estate is still copying Tupac to this day. They now have opened a museum in New York just like the museum they had in tu for Tupac in L.A. That pisses me off. <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, Biggie and his family deserves to make uh, some money as well, right, Miss Sunshine? Uh, you know, he has a lot of fans as well. I get what you're saying. I I hate going to concerts and going, even the radio. Uh, me and my son was in the car today when we was on our way. He was taking me somewhere, and uh, to the doctor's office. And a uh, Tupac song came on. And guess what came on right after that? A Biggie song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you go to the concert. Everybody put two two fingers up in the air for, for Tupac. Put two fingers up in the air, you know, or do this. Turn your lights on for Biggie. I mean, this everybody does it. And they, their names will, I guess, for some reason, would always be uh, synonymous or connected to each other. Yeah, it's like Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. It's like Mary, Larry Bird and Magic Johnson. You, you know, I think that's what happened with Tupac and Biggie. 
Okay, I'm Someone sorry, John. Super chat, Reggie. They want uh, relationship advice. Parents said, um, "My wife and I got married a few weeks ago. She's nine months pregnant, and we keep fighting. And she's mentioned divorce six times. What should I do?" Oh man, just wait till she have have that baby, dog. She gonna change. So that's just her home was tripping. Her home was just tripping, dog. This once that baby comes, she gonna be needing you so much. Just watch her. Make sure she ain't going through no type of, uh, uh, you know, depression or anything after she had the babies. But that's all it is. She just ready to have that baby, man. Her body is tripping like a mug, TB. Trust me. Trust me. And the only problem you're gonna have is you better learn how to uh, to jack to jack off because she ain't gonna be horny no more for a while. And two, and more importantly, and unfortunately. That baby is a cock blocker <laughs> for about eight, for at least two years. <laughs> and so, but now you'll be all right, big dog. She's going to be all right. Yeah. Somebody gave us a $2 super chat that you didn't, that we, we overlooked, John. Okay, Any go. stories on Sally B? Sally B, you must be from New Jersey. you one of my boys from the New Jersey mob. Got to be. Uh, Sally B, Sally B, Sally B. B, that was that was my boy Bob Gotti nigga. Him and little Sally B are still tight. I talked to Sally B, little Sally B, about a month ago. Sally B, Sally B was Sally B, man. He he was hanging around me real tough when I was doing the relatives albums and stuff. He had a song called Fifteen Dollars, Fifteen Dollars in Five in the How that song go? <coughs> $15 in the bank, five on the tank. Oh, man, he had a hook. He had a song that would blow up so much, I forget how to go. But it was called $15 in the bank, five in the tank. So five on the gank, five on the yank. Ten, it, it, $15. But anyway, Sally B from the Jersey Mob. Uh, him and Tretch, he the one that got Tretch real cool with the dudes from the Compton Mob. And my boy, Philly Wap. Philly Wap is doing good, y'all. My boy, Bob Gotti, talked to him. Uh, Frequent, he, he's in the feds right now. He's at a medium uh, prison, hating it. <laughs> but Betty Wap's doing good, and they're walking that walking that time off strong. And so, when he only asks about my boy Sally B, he he, he knows about the New Jersey mob, so that's why I'm talking about that. Yep. Yep. Hey, Rick, how's your dad doing? Man, thank you. Pop's doing good. He's uh, looking for doing an interview. So anybody out there want to pay some money for an interview, he mad. He has had to pay all that money for his property taxes. So he told me, he said, you, anybody want to do an interview right now, let me know. I'm ready to do one because I need to make some extra money. But the property taxes kicked my ass on April the 10th. I just laugh. Yeah, I just laugh. But Pop's good. Okay, John, I'm sorry. Wait, it was somebody had a five dollar one, I think I missed. Oh no, that was Terry B. Okay, right, with yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Do you listen to any of the new West Coast music like Percy J? No. I'm still stuck in the nineties, Samuel. I'm still stuck in the nineties, dog. Tonight, before I go to sleep, guess what I'm going to say? Hey, Google. <laughs> Stop Google. Don't turn it on. But I'm going to play 90s music, 90s R&B to go to sleep. That's what I go to sleep listening to every night. And so uh, I don't even listen to the youngsters, to be honest. Yeah. The laundry and hair. Man, I love that golden bird. You remember the Samoans ran that, huh? Don, Don, Don Z TV. Yep. Uh, that's where your boy Darnell Brown got shot at, coming out of that uh, dollar store over in that parking lot over there by that Golden Bird. But do you remember when it turned into the Honey Kittle? Which one did you like better, the Golden Bird or Honey Kittle, Don Z TV? I liked when it became a uh, Honey Kittle chicken. Yeah, you gonna make me think about Golden Bird now. Did the Mexican really take over Compton? As far as the streets and numbers, they it's about 60, 40, 70, 30 Mexicans now. But guess what? 
guess who still runs it? The council and all of that. That's what the Mexican, the Mexican people got to do better. If you, you know, a Mexican activist and stuff like that, y'all got to do better with uh, getting y'all people out there to vote, man, and take over, uh, take over, uh, uh, you know, to take over these cities that, you know, when you, when you got the majority of the people there. That's what one thing the Catholic priests is neglect, been neglecting now, uh, not being leaders and getting people out of their congregation to run against the black officials and stuff like that in cities where, you know, they have majority of the people. Uh, and, and that would be my only knock on what the black, what up, Bill? This is my boy, Boots. That's my nigga, Boots, in the, in the chat. Yeah, that's a good dude. You want to come on and tell them some Rock Chisholm stories, uh, Boots, from Elmley? Get in the chat. If you do, tell me. I'll send you a link. So you can call in my boy Bill. He the one uh, to know all the cars. What you about to say, John? Uh, somebody sent a super chat and said the uh, interview that Suge did in B uh, with BET, did Dr. Dre really tell Suge that he wanted to be white? <laughs> oh, man. That's the same old show. I, I told y'all my boy, be, he know how to, I told y'all Suge knows how to troll. Or know how to, to to throw daggers. Oh man, I don't think what man would say something like that. I I, I really just think Suge Suge is good. That's all I'm gonna say. I hate you know it's it's hard for me to to to, to shit on Suge because I I I love I, I I'm trained by him so I just I mean. Sugar is the ultimate troller. That's all I'm gonna say, y'all. I, I don't. I don't believe that happened. But I don't believe that happened. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm in the UK. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm in the UK and just woke up. Have you addressed the white claims? Yes, we have. Uh, what we pretty much said for those that just came in and stuff. Is we're by no means are supporting or or confirming that the claims that WAC made are factual. What we say is we understand, and what I'm saying, not John or not Bond First, what Reggie Wright is saying, I understand why WAC makes those claims because I have heard the same conversations and the same audio proof that makes him say stuff that he says. Now, whether we should be smart enough to be like, ah, oh, that nigga just talking shit, he just talking shit. Yes, we may both be guilty of that. But the only reason that I allow John to post that when I heard that it, what was said was because to show where he gets these the claims from and who's the person that's actually putting that in his head? So that's what I'll say. Okay. That's all I want to say at this point about that situation. But I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, guarantee that by the end of this month or sometime next month, I am going to have to show my proof. Morse uh, sent a five dollar super chat and said, "What's up, Reggie and John? Reggie, I wanted to, I think you meant know how you were doing. What do you need to improve as far as your health goes?" Thank you, thank you for asking, and thank you really for being concerned. I really need a um, person in my life to help me get up off my ass and work me out. Um, that's my next goal. I've been doing a lot of things privately, spending a lot of money on like taking my grandkids to Disneyland. Uh, have a big Mother's Day event coming up where I'm treating a bunch of ladies to uh, uh, to like a uh, backyard uh, Benny ha Benny ha Benny Heine style uh, lunch. So I've been spending a lot of unnecessary money, but after that, I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to hire somebody because my son's a little punk and don't help me like he need to. Um, in my opinion, well, I say that facetiously. 
So I'm going to hire somebody to help me get up every day, four or five hours a day, and get back on my feet right. And and, and so that's my, my plan. You know, now that the weather's right, and uh, I'm getting a lot of medical, I've been having a lot of medical treatments that I had to get done. My PSAs was high. I know I shouldn't be talking about this because I know a lot of people are going to throw me about it, but I don't care. I really don't. Uh, but my PSA levels are high, and I'm, 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 I'm going to get checked out. And once I know that I don't have prostate cancer, then I'm going to uh, get back working, and everything is getting fixed right. I know y'all been noticing my breathing been a little heavy uh, on uh, on uh, some of the tapings and stuff like that. I'm not on no breathing machine, never has been, never been on a breathing machine machine since I got out of the hospital. As y'all can see, I've been talking now, what, three hours straight? Y'all heard me take a breath, a breathing break or anything like that? But no, I do get a little, you know, winded and stuff like that. But, um, and so I got to get my health back right as far as losing some weight and getting back right and stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah, that that's what's up. Somebody said, uh, Reggie, there's no point in exercising if you don't eat right and no point in eating right if you don't exercise. That's good advice. Yeah. Can't even argue with him. Um, all right, here's a super chat. If Pac got assaulted in jail, someone would have requested a FOI on the incident or nurses uh, that attended to him would have come out and spoken. If he reported it, yes. Oh, uh, if you reported, it, I, hey dog, I am not up here. Y'all not gonna get me defending it. Y'all not gonna get me talking about it. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Reggie Wright, on his time around there, has never heard that from no Tupac Shakur or anything like that. Uh, only his denial of it happening. I'm just telling y'all. The only reason Bomb First allowed. Something like that to be posted up is to prove to y'all that there's a motherfucker out there that's telling motherfucking lies and say things when he wants to for his own agenda. I'm not saying who it is until I play it for y'all. Hmm. The only reason. Now, that's all I want to talk about that. Don't ask me that question no more, John. Yeah, I have no idea what this means. But somebody said, why was Tupac never registered into the death row index? I don't know. I have no idea what the hell the death row index is, but. Oh, I'm sorry. Not death row. Death index. Do you know what a death index is? I, mean, I guess because he's still alive. So. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't care. They, they, that's stupid. they that's stupid. They that stupid. They keep talking that stupid shit. That's stupid. Yeah. I don't even know. Do you know what a death index is? Though? I don't even know. What that I don't is. know. Some, probably some term where. Oh, shit. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Let's see. Appreciate that, Bear. I read what you said. I appreciate you saying that, Bear. Correct. Wendy Williams was the first one to put that, that lie out there. Like I said, Park responded to it, and and I hey, well, that's all we can do is take his word for what his response to it was. I'm just telling you why Wax says it from the rumor that he heard. Um, let's see. What happened to Sam Snead, Red? Sam Snead is good, man. I talked to Sam Snead about uh, about six, seven months ago. He always on me about he like y'all. He he's a big proponent of uh that Dr. Seabass Seabass stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Seamoth, the Seamoth. And he just keep telling me, Red, he be he offered to pay for me for my consultation for it. Um, oh, with Doctor, uh, the one that was with left eye. Not CB, the the CMO stuff or whatever it's called. It might be Sinbad. His CB might be the one that that does it, but the uh, 
the sea bass, the sea moss or something like that. He's a big proponent of it. And he said he had brain tumor and, uh, and it, it cured him. Yeah. So, yeah. So sound sea moss. Yes. Thank you. Sea moss. R sea moss. Yes. And he's a big proponent of that. And, uh, the consultation is like six or seven thousand, three thousand or something they wanted. But he was like, Red, if you don't want to do it, I'll pay for it. You know, you gotta get right. This shit works. I think Dr. Siva is the one that that that's promotes it or that does it, but uh but yeah, Sam Sneed is a good dude. Him, K Solo, all of them are good dudes, man. Okay, now that uh there's a nine nine Steve Lou. Thank you. Now that No Jumper took down the Lucha Cannon interview because Adam Twenty Two said that there has been no proof. Is Reggie sorry he claims something will come out February the fourteenth that never came out? Uh, I don't think I said that it was gonna come out. I said they're gonna be exposed. Yeah. If it doesn't, I said they're gonna be considered some liars or some some cappers if if it don't come out that day. Now I kind of talked and quoted on wrong things that that was going to come out. I think I talked about the the sex tape, the the uh, Nipsey sex tape, when it was actually the FaceTime with Big U and all of that stuff. But my whole thing was I agree with y'all that if the shit didn't come out, that it was all a major lie and and some clout. And so, um, y'all yeah, stand by that question was proposed and it may be posted up if we continue posting up all of the uh the segments yeah but uh they try to say it was gonna come on some tv network and i'm not subscribed to it y'all know if it if it was if it came out but i you know i was not co-signing for that shit loose that dude loose cannon uh I don't know if he just sent it to me privately or if he posted it on his IG. Somebody go to here and tell me. But he, he went on IG like I was talking shit about him over here. And there's some post like, fuck you, Reggie, right? And all of that shit. I don't remember ever saying nothing bad about him. <clears throat> I don't know if he just sent it to me privately <clears throat> or if he put it on his, his, his Instagram post. But I don't know what that was about. I was kind of shocked when I heard that. I was like, oh, another motherfucker trying to blow up their self off of Reggie Wright. But I don't remember ever really talking about him. Why do Big U have a Rico? You done asked that about five or ten times, BMX. I told you, I don't know if it's true or not. It's not on the internet. We can't find it. I haven't verified it. So Bomb First is not over here ver verifying that. Or, or, or promoting that or saying that this is people asking us in a super chat all i said is three or four people have called and said he, he has been picked up but well, i have no independent knowledge of that so don't 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 y'all go spreading that reggie wright said that reggie wright is not saying that reggie Wright. i don't even know why i keep speaking on it because it's gonna make people think like i'm talking about it but i'm not because I, I, I don't know that to be true. All right. He has something to do with Nipsey Reds. Is it Buntry and Trey had a rap group? Well, they had a label that shit was, and that's why they get mad when I mention it. They said that they had a label that was going to call, what was the name of the record label they were supposed to call them, y'all? Then I don't say nothing. Okay. Let's see if people have been listening. What was supposed to be in the record, their record label name? OFTV mentions it a lot. That'll be the hint. <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you the name in a minute and see if anybody name it. But they had a, a record label that, uh, and he had a bunch of people that were like, that Buntry was considered, everybody was like, shit, I, I, I uh, signed with Buntry. Well, I let Buntry management, I'll be able to uh, get out. Good job. Yeah. There goes Sharif. My boy Sharif knows. He be listening. See? But anyway, um, uh, and so a lot of people like Hub and uh, uh, Boss, Boss Hall. I don't know. Yeah. 
I think they're off TV. Because they said a lot. Oh, LCD, all of them was. That was going to be a record label called Ghetto Records that they were supposed to have put out. Mm. But uh, it was called Ghetto Records, y'all. And, uh, but if I, you mentioned that to Trey, Trey would get mad and be like, ah, oh, that nigga was just lying. He wasn't giving us no record label. <laughs> but that was what it was supposed to be called. Y'all say ain't racist. What that mean? <laughs> um, so that shit got to be true. Y'all say no, it ain't saying, racist. He's saying, y'all let that bird whack talk shit about Suge. Uh, y'all never address your co-host pirating yeah. to talk shit. Oh, uh, okay. We have addressed Alex Pazmino. You know, yeah, he can hear. He's familiar. That might be the real guy. He ain't, he ain't racist, racist, but definitely a pirate. pirate. All right. Yeah. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Alexa, stop. Yeah. Hey, ready? Did Lonzo Wilms from Worldwide Record Crew play a part of Devil Records? Yeah, he actually kind of got ganked, right? Would you say? Because he really kind of had Dre. He kind of got ganked by Easy E, I think. And then. I to watch that Welcome to Death Row uh, documentary. He talks a lot in that, Reggie. Oh, oh Lonzo? Lonzo, yeah. a good dude. I can't say nothing bad about Lonzo. I like Lonzo. Lonzo, didn't we have him on our show before? We had Lonzo on our show. We, we did yeah, a we live did stream with him once, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lonzo, a good dude, um, but he did kind of get ganked, I think. But I didn't. He was in the. Okay, he was in Welcome to Death Row as well. Yeah. A lot of the early people were like the the, the Dick Griffey people, you know, were. were oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I got to watch that one day. <laughs> one day I may watch it. <laughs> I mean, I may watch that in the Battle of Compton's and all that. I don't know why I can't watch that shit. I, I just. I, I need to watch it. It may give us some content, huh? We stop repeating stories, huh? If you, yeah, you probably get something out of the Welcome to Death Row. You'd be like, oh, I can't believe so and so said this. This is not factual or this wasn't correct or whatever. Mm -hmm. They don't know how I just really be talking off the top of my head. I don't be, I don't research at all. Yeah. Or I might watch that one day. I, yeah. What happened to the house here tonight with Yeah, in Bel Air. Uh, he never had a house in Bel Air. It was in actually uh, Encino, and uh, it got sold. You know, when hard times kicked in, they they sold it, liquidated it. He had a pool there it was going to be like Raging Waters. He had, that was getting built. It never got completed, but it was man. He would have had a. He was going to have a water park in his backyard. Mm. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm getting texts now. People getting mad at me. See, I knew that was going to happen. The <laughs> big U is on the phone with uh, Alex Alonzo right now, uh, somewhere, and and so he didn't get arrested. And so, I might be dumb saying this, but y'all know I'm not a hater. So the, those of y'all want to go, I think Alex Alonzo might be doing a live right now and over on Street TV. So, I know, I know John here, but we about to wrap it up anyway. But oh, uh, we had three hours. But um, uh, yeah. So so he's over there. Apparently, somebody just texted me and said that he's he's on the phone with Alex Alonzo. I don't know if it's live or what. Not live. Okay, it's not live. It's okay. not live. But um, but he's probably just talking to him on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reg, uh, Reggie, uh, did you ever write any raps? No. And no. I'm here, Rich. I'll leave you where you guys leave. I'll leave you when you guys leave. Appreciate you, Bear. Reggie on the mic, just try it out. No, I'm no good at that. Did Suge really have a record label called Black Capital? John, explain that one, because I, I thought it was Black Ball, but I think it was Black Capital, huh? Um, I that think it was tried. later, but when he was doing the, um, or at least in the footage of the Unfinished Business reality show, they were calling it Blackballed Record, but I did see, like, Yeah, I uh, thought it was Black Ball. I always thought Black yeah. Ball. Yeah. But I did see later on, like, pretty close to when he went in, um, when the incident happened, um, mm -hmm. he was going to try to launch a label called Black Capital or something like that. 
I remember Black Bull because it was a dude up north, up in Sacramento or somewhere like that, nice that had had the label or called Black Ball, oh, and he was trying to give him some money or do something to get it from him. I remember that, but that was you know after the Death Row stuff. That was like two thousand, two thousand and seven. Yeah. Um. Somebody said, "Hold on, which, oh, okay." Uh, Reggie was Death Row sold nine times. Did that did that come out yet? Did that, that interview out. come out yet? That came out uh, today three times. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you count it the way he did, yes, but a lot of them were the same owners. So I only say like five times that it has changed hands. But you know, he added E1 to Koch, Koch to E1, Koch to Minarch and all of those. You know, Koch to Koch or E1 to uh to to Hallsboro and all of them. When all of those companies was pretty much assumed, you know, mm -hmm. by by it wasn't like a transfer went from there to there. They were assumed. Like the but there you Yeah. Gotcha. But even the the Koch to E1, that was assumed. They they just became a bigger company. They became a TV company and all of that when they became E1. Uh, so it it probably was some paperwork where it was that many times, but definitely changed hands at least four to five times. Definitely. Yeah. So sure at worst. Should only claim would be to the first person if he could prove, which I'm sure the statute is up on that or whatever, that you know the by suing the bankruptcy court or something like that, that they illegally made him sell the company death row or or, or to go into bankruptcy and you know and, and liquidate. So his claim would be to uh, really would be to his his, his receiver. Not the receiver. What they call the person? Not the trustee. But the, the the guy that was over the bankruptcy. What they called him? That guy. Uh, I think he called a receiver. Something like that. The guy that that, that would be the only guy that he really. Okay, Alex is, is texting me now. Tell people that Big U is is live on. He's not in jail. He is live on. On IG right now, okay. So Big G, Big U is live on his IG, denying that uh, he's not in custody. That don't mean he was wasn't picked up though. But <laughs> he's not live. Tell you that. On his IG, on Big U's IG. Yeah, I'm, I'm on it. He's not live. Well, maybe he was. Look and see if he did post something. Cause he ain't gonna talk like us all day. Uh, three hours ago, he posted something. Reading a book or something, I'm not sure. Do you have Alex Alonzo phone number? I don't think so. I might. Let me look. Let me look. If you do, send him a text and we'll get him to come on and talk. Okay. Welcome back, Alex Alonzo. Alex, yeah, I got them. If it's the same All right, send him and tell him. Send him send him the link and ask him to come and join us. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. Alex Alonzo. Did I remind any of y'all that just tuned in that they came on that today's James? Any of y'all that care for James McDonald Mild James' birthday? I pinned his cash app up in um up on 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 the video that I posted today at 9 a.m. Y'all can go and get that. I think it's 36 mile pay pay mile P A Y M O B B. John taught me something today. Me and him was arguing. I thought <laughs> you had to put the dollar sign, and he said, "You ain't got to put the motherfucking dollar sign." Okay, John. But anyway, dollar sign. Everybody's username. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dollar sign thirty six. Pay mob, M O B B. Yeah, yeah I want to cash up him a little something here. Appreciate it. Even if it's two or three dollars. Reggie, do you still drive? I can, but I don't. My facility is not that well. Right now, Reggie is a mirror of my brothers with puffy head of security. <laughs> no, I never heard that. FBI agent James McDonald. 
There's a live chat or a, uh, a super chat from Josh who says, can you speak? I don't know why they love this. They love this clip. <laughs> can you speak on Chris Blatchard raid on the T flats, Chucky and midget on <laughs> from 1990. I don't know when the hell, 92, 93. Yeah, about that time. Uh, what what you want me to say? I just we were just over there rattling them up. It was a bunch of uh guys hanging out. Actually, they were on the freeway. They in Compton, if y'all know anything, it was on Rosecrans. And so we have something called the Alameda Cordon, which is where everything comes from the port, the Long Beach port, and it runs through the city of Compton. It runs through. It rides the train tracks ride through all the way to downtown LA and. And to the you know where I'm tracking all that is, and so what happens is this they built this uh like a bridge because everybody was complaining because they would get stopped at the bridge, or they would get stopped when the train go by, and no motherfucking uh, uh fruit town parus those or mulberry, thirteen hundred dollar mulberry, and no T flats, they would go in and was robbing all those you know people riding up and down Rosecrans. And while they were waiting for the train. So they build what they call like a bridge uh, where it drops you down into Santana Block area on Rosecrans and it drops you down so you wouldn't have to wait at that, that track. And so they were just on that track over that, over that, um, on that little bridge, you know, throwing up gang signs and acting a fool. And, you know, and they had Fox 11 was out there. So, of course, you know, when you get a camera, you know, you know how y'all get Hollywood when you get a camera. And people were out there just, you know, showing off for the camera. Now, he found these two little youngsters that was out there that I guess intrigued uh, Chris Blackford. And he started talking to them and all of that. And one of them I hear, one of them is dead. I, I, I don't know which one. and But one of them is I hear is a major shot caller in the, uh, in the pen right now. And, um, I remember when he had got brought down to county jail. Uh, my father was running the county jail, and they had talked because they knew each other, you know, from the T flats. And I remember he telling me that he saw him. So that would have been at least like 2012 or something like that. But he had a lot of juice in 2012. But that clip for me was, was 93. So I guess he would have been older. And so, uh, yeah, that's what's up with that. Groove TV annoying as fuck. Okay, why was. That shooting at the back of Caesar Entertainment Studios. I don't know what that's about. Why was the shooting at the back of? I don't know what that's about. No, the Caesar. One where, where was the corrupt one? What? Grove the got shooting. shot. Yeah. Grove got shot. No, no, no. When his bodyguard and, and Daz and Realist and them, there was that shooting. Oh, oh, that was, was Echoes. That was Echoes. Oh, I thought, okay. That was Echoes. That was in Glendale. That's gotcha. when Big U, Big U's little brother got killed. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, big draws, little draws, little draws. Yeah, North Hollywood. It's either North Hollywood or I, I always start Glendale, but Echo Sounds is what it's called. Mm. Yeah, Chucky is dead. Okay, so Chucky is the one that's dead. Okay, so Midget must be still alive. Midget must be the one that's kind of doing good in person. Reggie, would you start right way security now? No, those days are behind me, man. Yeah. Did Tupac ever meet Big Pond? No. Big Pond hadn't blown up yet. Unless he was hanging around Fat Joe and him, like you always say. Yeah. Any print story now? No. Just, uh, you know, that we used to go to his club called Grand Slam a lot. Alex Alonzo, if you're listening, I think John sent you a link. If you can call in so you can give us any update. You hadn't yeah. sent it yet? Alex in 2020. So if your number is still the same from 2020, I sent you a link. Yeah, yes, it was the same. Okay. I remember what about Can Am cleanup? Dog fights with Phil Brewster. I don't know who Phil Brewster is. Does that sound familiar? I don't know that name either. Okay. You have to tell um, me a little more. That from Joe, he wants to know Hey, Reggie, if Shug didn't get sentenced in 1997, would Death Row have stayed with Interscope even though he hated Dr. Dre? I think Jimmy would have eventually took Dre's side by 1998 or 1999, but what do you think? I think uh, 
she would have made things happen. Yes. I think she would have made something happen just because of his presence. People wanted to be in business with him. Uh, you know, I think he would have smooth. She, she doesn't know how to play the game when he has to. And I think he would have played the game with Jimmy. If not with Jimmy, I think uh, people in the South about to get mad. But then I think he would have been over there running priority or something. You know, like Master P did. And then Master P wouldn't have been running around as freely in L.A. as he was. Um, not that they were scared or anything. He would be scared because, you know, but they wouldn't have been in L.A. doing that. They would have had their headquarters in the South, where Master P during that time had an office in L.A. Or they would have been working together, you know. But or maybe Suge would have had the deal that that Snoop had with TVT Records. There were other people he had. John McLean was over there running AM AM uh, A A and M. He might have went over there with John McLean, who who helped him get the deal with Death Row. That's the guy who had put out a corrupt album. Uh, Clyde, not Clyde Davis, uh, Doug Morris would have gave him something. We were still dealing with them, and they were still giving Suge what he wanted, good money, because just off the Tupac albums. Suge was getting 3 to $4 million every time he put out one of those postponing albums. You know, he, until the end of time, better days. The greatest hits. I mean, just for bringing it and, and saying, okay, street day going to be this day. Everything's done. Three, four million dollars is getting cut to him. So he, he would have been making it happen. Bigger and better. Just because of his presence alone would have made things happen. Yeah. Why didn't we get another DPG album? Well, because Corrupt had did what he did. He was sent home, and so Suge allowed Daz to put out an album. Uh, did y'all like Re Revenge, Retaliation, Get Back? I kind of like about three or four songs on there. But y'all were hating Death Row so much at the time, y'all didn't really support us like we should. Who was bigger in the 60s, Keto Rock or Big U? Ooh, that's a great question. I, I have no business speaking on there. Uh, on their on their business, but all I know is Keto Rock was very very respected. But I also know there were different cliques within the sixties, because <laughs> I used to be with Keto Rock and I'd be like, "Man, that nigga said he from sixties." He'd be like, "Yeah, he is." But I don't know who the fuck he is, <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. I didn't. I had never seen that, and he'd be like, "I think he from," and so there's like three different cliques of the sixties. And um, and so yeah, uh, I I never knew which one, you know, you know. It, I'm saying that to say they we would be at spots and they didn't know each other until they start talking sixty sixties and they be like, oh yeah, he from sixties or you know whatever. But back then they didn't even really know each other. No different clicks, and I experienced that a lot with Keto Rock. But Keto Rock was very 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 respected within um. Uh, Within the 60 Crips organization. But Big U was as well. So, yeah. Why y'all never signed the game? Um, I wasn't around then. I wasn't around. Suge was big on Crooked Eye and all of them at the time when the game was coming around. That's why I think. <laughs> Heron was mob apart or looters. He wore MOB Ray. But some will say looters. I, uh, his brother, his brother said not outside of a car right now, probably in front of a CJ house in the mob area, his brother JP. So I don't know. I would say mob, most people, but he, he had a mob ring on. So, yeah. But that gets touchy with a lot of people, though. What is the JDL Jewish Defense League, Tony? The Tupac um, the the Crip artists worked with the blood artists on two games. Yep, everybody was good. 
everybody was good. We had uh, Dracer on that album, right? He was a Crip. I had uh, I had my boy K9 on there. He was a, a Blood. Uh, I had some dudes, the, the Terrace Twins. They were Pyrus, Top Dog, and his boys. What was their names? Uh, the Bad Habits. They were Pyrus. Mm. Uh, Dads and then were Crips. Yeah, they all worked together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we ain't got no problems. Most of y'all in the chat, okay. Oh, uh, the death row want BG knockout. No, BG knockout was in jail at the time, though. But Dracer was out. But DG knockout was in prison at the time. Reggie, have you heard the new DPT show? I heard it this morning. I like the uh, uh I like the intro and I like the outro. Alex Alonso the, just joined Reggie. Oh, yeah. is he gone? Yeah. What up, Street TV? Mr. Alex Alonzo. He's on. You better not start no shit, Alex Alonzo. We're going to come <laughs> over there and get you. Is he here? I can't, I can't hear you, Alex. It might be muted on the, on the app. I'm not sure, though. It says it's unmuted. Oh. Okay, you're good now, Alex. Try now. One, two, one, two. There you go. There you go. You're on. What's up, Reggie? What up, Vic? Uh, Alex, why are you coming on, on my live stream stock talking shit? I didn't even comment on your goddamn Nino boy uh, 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 interview you did today talking shit about me. But shout out to Nino boy and Alex Alonzo. Y'all doing your thing over there. I ain't going to hate. I think he was kind of respectful myself. Who, Nino boy? Yeah. Me. You ain't say nothing. You can. I was talking about Nino boy. I did tell him that all of the stuff has already been investigated. That these conspiracy <laughs> theories—I don't know what part dropped, but I—I I do believe I told um, him most of these conspiracy theories have already been deaded already. Well, like I said, me and me and John both agree that it was you were, that he was even respectful. So we ain't tripping. I'm just trying to shout out the interview. Oh, but, okay, cool, cool. Yeah, but. What we called you for and what we want you to address on, because I know I was trying to tiptoe across a subject, and I heard that you uh, had, had got some information about Big U and his live, and we tried to find it because we were going to play it, but uh, we couldn't find it, and so I just said, hey, let's see if Alex will come and talk about it. So what well, you learned? He, he's got two Instagrams. His his um he can't go live on his main one, so that his. His other Instagram is checking in, C H E C C N I N, I believe. Okay. So I guess it just so like a coincidence, somebody uh, that was watching your channel texted me and said that they heard he had been to jail. And at the same time, I'm actually talking to him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I said, I said, I heard, but I said, I wasn't confirming it. I don't know it. And I don't know it for it to be. I just said, people reporting it. And Reggie Wright is not reporting it, is what I said. So. But I was I was told that it had came up on on your show. Well, somebody asked it in the uh, that's correct. Somebody asked it in the chat, and I said I had heard it and got a couple of calls about it, but uh, but I'm not saying that it happened or not because I haven't confirmed it. And then that's when the person told me that Alex talking to him. I said, hey, let's. And so we actually tried to find it, but we didn't know about the second Instagram. And so, because we were going to, you know, pay what his, his response was. And then I just suggested John send you a link and, and then, you know, you can come and speak up on it because just like you don't like putting out bad information, especially when it comes to that politics or street politics, I don't as well. And so I just said, let me give Alex a chance to address it for, for him to clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody can go on his second Instagram and, and it's probably a, a, as recent as 10, 15 minutes ago, he was on his live just letting everybody know he is not in jail. I guess this, he's got some he's got some serious online haters and I guess they're always throwing misinformation out there about him. So yeah, uh, it's, it's just another, uh, you know, another another thing, man, this Internet place is, is especially YouTube is, is becoming polluted, Reggie. You're right. You're, but you know if it was true, and you know if it was true, and that's what John had even said, 
I don't see it nowhere. <laughs> he said, ain't nobody, you know, reporting it on YouTube or, or in the media or on the news. So we kind of knew that it was possibly wasn't true. But the, but the, but the play devil advocate, as I do, you know, that don't mean you didn't get picked up either, though. But it's not, they ain't going to just pick you up in a recall and then let you out in a couple of hours, as we well, know as been, well. We've been, I've been talking with him on and off all day for the last, for the last couple of days. So, so you know, so you know, it's bullshit. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I don't there, there, there hasn't been a window of time for him to to get arrested, go to jail, bail out. You know, how, well, you know the process. How yeah. long would it take to get arrested, to get booked, fingerprinted, mugshot, and then make bail? How, how long does that process take? Well, I'll tell you what. It happened to me through the feds. Uh, the states are a little different. It's a little quicker. But the feds, they you don't have a bail like the states. They have a a standard bail that when you go to jail, well, at least when I was a cop, I don't know what they're doing now. But generally, most cases have a, a standard bail. But the feds, you get arrested that morning, and hopefully you can get a court date that that afternoon, which that's what happened to me. So I got arrested. They woke my ass up at four in the morning, and then by one thirty, I had a court time. But then in between that time. You either meet with their public defense attorney or you meet with um, uh, with your private attorney and you also do like a, a quick like probation report with, with a person to, that's going to report to the judge whether or not they think you fit it for bail or whatever. So you do all of that in the morning and by uh, 1, 1.30, 2 o'clock, they usually have you sitting in there for everybody that got arrested that day to go before the judge. And at that time, they decide if you're going to have a bail, if you, which usually in the feds usually means somebody signing for you or whatever. Um, they have what they call signature bonds and, and stuff like that. Or you don't have any bail. Or, uh, um, and, or then you can get released or, 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 or you can get an ankle monitor or whatever. And they get all that done, and usually you can be out by six o'clock that day, which I was. Well, he I was, was on live with Spider yesterday. Okay. So, oh, I'm not saying that it happened. I'm just saying, you know, that that you can't get picked up. But that's what the reports were that he got picked up. And uh, but I don't want to be the one like I'm breaking that. I did. did somebody asked me that as a question, and I responded to it. I, so I don't want to keep talking about it like I'm the one out here putting it out because I don't have no problems with Big U. No, no none at all. I'm 100% <laughs> certain that it is 100% untrue. How's that? Yeah, that? That's good enough for me. Good enough for me. Yeah. So what y'all yeah. talking about, man? N nothing. <laughs> we just talking. We just on here talking. Yeah, we just answering questions, man. I haven't been arrested in in let's say thirty years, so I don't even remember the process, man. Yeah, not on state, on a state court arrest. So, and I heard it change a little bit because they shit, they don't even take money bill too much on misdemeanors. They they give you citations real quick now on misdemeanors arrest because they so over overloaded but let's talk about felonies <laughs> i you know what i shouldn't even be talking about it because i ain't dealt with a state case in about 10 years but when i was a cop and when i worked in jails how they work where well, you get arrested and you usually take about three to four hours to get fingerprinted and all of that stuff then you get to make a phone call you call your, your people or a bail bondsman and generally you, you have a bail uh and they had a book uh, for the particular charges, like cocaine would be like five thousand, sherm would be like a thousand, uh, sales of marijuana used to be like twenty five hundred. So they had like a range. Domestic violence was like fifty thousand. They had different ranges of uh, of now you as a cop you could call and get a, an enhancement. You know, if it was like a armed robbery, a robbery where it was real crazy or something like that. Uh, murders was always no bail. But you so you had a book, a guidelines of books of, of, of you know, a bill um, of a, a normal price. And usually that's, you know, take either that amount or 10 percent usually can get you out 
in about five to six hours after you got arrested. Uh, it used to take about five to six hours. You I remember in the, in, in the LAPD stations, when you would get arrested, the first thing they would do is sit you on a bench, handcuff you. Hand, handcuff you to the bench, yeah. And yeah. You, would sit, you would sit on that bench for hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we had holding tanks in at Compton, and we still you in a holding tank, so you didn't usually have to wear cuffs that long. Yeah, once you got in the cell, you just got patted down, stripped down, not stripped down, but you go in a booking cell, and then they do the booking slips, and then fill you out. But our process was a little quicker. You usually could be in the back, had your phone call and all of that within three or four hours. Oh. And then oh, they tell oh, you oh, oh, to use the bathroom, they just ignore you for, for a, an hour. Depending on you and depending on the person. Yeah. It's all about the persons, man. About the I'm people. I just remembering my, my teenage experiences as an 18, 19, 20-year-old kid getting taken down to the stage. Oh, nigga, stop lying. You got arrested three years ago for beating up on your wife. I remember. <laughs> you got <it>. you, <laughs> Don't listen to what Reggie is saying. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. I've been happily married for twenty. What is it now? Twenty four years. I got married in two thousand. Congratulations on that. That's an achievement. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, they don't strip search you until you get. They take you to the county. Only, only felony. No, we did it. But you had to have a felony. You had to have a felony. Um, but you couldn't do misdemeanors. They do misdemeanors, but felonies. They can, and they don't make you get naked, and they just go in there and pull your pants. Tell you don't, you know. We got a whole bunch of shit back. It was a whole bunch of shit floating around in our jail. Niggas used to have cocaine, especially in the eighties, nineties. They used to have that shit stuck all the way in their ass. Yeah. The only way you found that out of somebody snitch and say, "Ooh, he, he got a rock from the lad, ready." Man, boy, y'all just don't know no jails. How many snitches there be? They're gonna be snitching for no reason. It's a part of American society, man. It, it, it's some group TV say it smells like bacon in this motherfucker. Well, ask your mother to leave the room. <laughs> Let's ask your mother to leave the room. Say, Mama, would you leave out my room? You smell like a pig, baby. And I bet she leave. Y'all know y'all can't count with me. I don't even know why y'all play with me with this trolling chat. Hey, how's your show going on over there on Vlad TV? We need Alex Alonzo. Oh, oh Vlad hates don't me. Be honest. I don't be honest. Oh, no, he'll never fuck with you. But we need a moderator. And we I don't know why try Vlad to get hates you so much. Because but, uh, you be calling him out. You're always talking shit. I called him out one time for, for saying the reparations comment. <laughs> And for the honorable, Farrakhan. nigga, I brought him in. I beg, I had him come down and do a show to help us get our shit offline. And you go in there messing with him about paying guests. That was a, but because that was at a time when he was denying he was paying. Yeah. And after the show, he called me and said he didn't have any problem with that interview. Uh, so, yeah, he's what, trying to get you to shit up talking about it. I know, and you and you guys had to apologize for me. That's crazy. I apologize for having a guest come on the show, on the show, and get 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 ambushed by one of the cohorts. You don't think that was respectful? I didn't need you to apologize for me. Well, I didn't need. I was apologizing on the on the one that asking the man to come and do a show with us, and then a co-host of mine uh, ambushing. Well, you know, I, I was ambushed into that whole interview in the first place. You was interviewed in all of those interviews. If you think about it, I was always the ones kind of saying, let's do this or let's do that. And then you will write it out, which I admit you were a great, a great, uh, what's the word? Uh, moderator or so as far as writing stuff down, researching and then hitting me and James with the one, too. You were great at it. Y'all could probably find a good moderator for the show. Well, I mean, I got one job. I don't want to take away from bomb first. Um, but John, no, not the street, the Vlad. street, to huh? To what else I talking about? Oh, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who would you think? I, 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 I personally like Millie Mel. I personally like him, but you know, he talks just as much as me. So, 
<laughs> I don't think we'll be good because we'll all be talking over each other. You know when to shut up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you know how to play the game. You'll go and throw it out and you'll shut up. Yeah, uh, I'd have to but, think about it. Uh, I'd have to think about it. You yeah. know would be you know who's, who's a good moderator that would know just when to be quiet is a uh, court from uh, the court uh, podcast. He's good, but I I saw something that he posted today that kind of. Uh, Got me thinking, you know, maybe he wouldn't be on our page. I like him. I think he's a good dude. But he said, I'm not for gossip uh, or bullshit. I'm 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 about uh I'm about business opportunities and stuff. What made me think, okay, he's too mature for us, you know, for no, this I, shit. I, I, think he, I mean you, I think when, when we did it, I don't I wouldn't call what we did gossip when we were doing it. Yeah, I was calling Boosie uh Yes, we was. You know, we was talking shit. Well, yeah. Every once in a while, you would go off the deep end, though. But you know, yeah. That's what that's what people wanted to hear. <laughs> exactly. That's what I said. You know, and I, that's why I mean that. I think he might be a little too, too, too mature, or you know, taking it in a different direction than what uh, I think YouTubers would want. I'm, I'm not saying that there's not a place for that. I just don't think Reggie Wright and James are the place for it. But we do need somebody like you to reel us in, you know, to be like, okay. He, he, doesn't, he doesn't over talk his guests, and that's important for somebody to moderate. Yeah, yeah. But you also had the knowledge of the streets and the stuff, and the, you know, like the stuff that you talked about with the uh, with the Mexican mafia wars and all that stuff, and then you and James got into, and the people that James knew from. From Kitchen Crips and all of that, I I had no clue what y'all was talking about, and you know, and I wouldn't have been able to touch on those subjects that y'all did. Oh yeah, he was he was tapped in with the Munson family, one of the most famous families in L.A. during the late '60s, early '70s. Yeah, yeah. So, well, yep. Yeah. All right. Well, well, appreciate it, Alex. Appreciate you coming right, in, tapping well, in, and cleaning up. Uh, yeah. But just let it know, be known. Reggie wasn't out there spreading out. I was just asked a question and I told him what I heard. I don't know where they heard that from. Um, meaning the people, somebody must be putting it out for them to even ask me that question. But it, it didn't start with me. It was probably just some haters that are trying to spread some rumors, but uh, it's all good. It's all Got good, you. man. Well, uh, I hope it works out on the on the on your new show, and uh, you tell your boss over there that uh, stop hating. I don't have no boss. I have people that I do business with. So you, you Spider and Munchie and all of them boss? Are you their boss? I'm the boss. I'm the boss over there, Street TV. Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> all, right. all right, man. Y'all have a all good right. night. Thanks Appreciate so you, bro. All right. All right. Well, Bron first ever do a show with Joe Rogan. Oh, I would love to. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to, Joe? Wouldn't you love for us to do a show with Joe? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we would love to. Everything that dude says, but shit, the exposure. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, he. I think he make the most on all this YouTube stuff, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. He does well, I don't know if he does on. I know Spotify podcast wise, he makes the most. YouTube, I think it's. That oh, I got you. Podcast. Yeah. Mr. Beast guy that I showed you. Well, do Mr. Beast make me money on YouTube as well? I know he do a Twitter. Yeah, let me let me show you. Let me tell you what his latest videos are. Which matter of fact, what, let, 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 let's do. YouTube. Let's post up what people actually make on this YouTube stuff, John. Um, <laughs> let's expose some people, and then we'll go. <laughs> Mr. Beast did a video, one hundred and twenty-one million. Actually, to his channel, there's not one video that's under a hundred million views. On on YouTube, or are you on talking YouTube. on Twitter? No, on, on YouTube. YouTube, most of them are Dang. in the two hundred thousand. Or I'm sorry, two hundred million views. Wow. Yeah. Insane. All right. Wow. So, okay, let's, uh, and y'all just think, and, and that, that's six thousand every million. So he made six thousand times a hundred and twenty million dollars, y'all. On average. All right, I'll present my screen, Reggie, and then we'll. You tell me who with a YouTuber you want to look up. <laughs> Let's first start off with Street TV. No, not Street TV. Not Street. Straight Game TV. Well, let's see what that nigga makes. Uh, 
And you make sure you put it up. Let's see what he makes for doing all of this, Reggie Basher. Everybody should be able to see my screen, but all right. Straight Game TV estimated earnings thirty <laughs> to one hundred and forty-seven dollars a month. Did you put Year it up? Two. I don't see it, John. We don't see it. I don't see it. I'm my screen. Um, you might not be able to see it because you're. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Watch the chat though, because I don't want to go back to the chat while, while I'm sharing my screen, and let me know if they say they can see it or not. All right, let me ask them. Can can y'all see? Can y'all see it? Because I can't see it. I'm looking at a chat screen. Can y'all see what John posts? Anybody in the comment section? Because I don't want to do all... Can't see it. Yeah, they can't see it. They can't see it. Yeah, they can't see it. Okay, stop screen share. Oh, I know why. Hold on. I know why. Share screen. I know why. One second. I got to go back here and I got to add my video. Turn your camera off, Reg. Turn my camera on? Okay, I camera on. Okay, I did, I did. Okay. All right, let's see. Um, how do I do this? Let's try it this way. Oh, I got to take this graphic off. Hold on. Brand, let's hide that. Okay, here we go. All right, yeah. Can I make it so bigger? Can I make so it this is what his wife let him sit on YouTube all day to do? How much did that? Thirty to four hundred and seventy-two dollars. Thirty to four hundred and seventy-two dollars a month. Yearly estimated earnings, uh, five thousand seven hundred dollars a year. At the gross. Yes. Before taxes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what, would you, what would you like to look at next? You better look at it. Let's do choke no joke. You know I got to do my enemies. Choke no joke. Okay. He might do a little more because he had some good years when he did the Damon Dash stuff. All right. Oh. So estimated monthly revenue, $135 to $2,200 a month. <laughs> <laughs> he streams all day for $2,200 a month. He could go on unemployment and get more than that. Estimated, oh, these niggas. Estimated yearly revenue, $26K. Okay. What the... That's probably when when he had that good shit with uh, cause that's not bad actually for a part time job, twenty six k. But it's not a part time job. He streams all all damn day, all night. All right, all right. Let's see who else. I don't want to do art because art 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 to have niggas mad because oh. he make good money. Let's not do art. Let uh. You ourselves? Ooh. See how accurate it is or not? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's see what Dar say. Let's put us out there. We got to put us out there. All right. It says zero, zero, zero. No, we don't make no money. We do this oh, shit for free. Right so you playing games now, John. No, no, no. Yeah, John playing games, y'all. I swear to God, I'm not playing games. Look, watch our refresh. Let me try. Shit, I want to think it's somebody just to try it, but. No, we don't make no money. 30 days, 4.39 million, and that's down. Yeah, I don't know why it's not coming up. Let's try somebody else so I can see if it's you know down. All right, bro. Who else? Let's do Carcinio. Let's see what Carcinio for life. Carcinio for life. I'll probably spell that right. Carcinio for life. We up here po pocket watching niggas. We ain't gonna do Gene Deal. I ain't gonna make. I don't need Gene okay. Deal mad at me. Makes two hundred sixty-three to four thousand a month. Okay, that ain't bad. Earnings fifty k. Okay, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Cause you know, do okay. Our shit's acting up. Bomb first. Maybe you, that was the live one you had. No, it's got it's showing the subscribers and everything. Let me try it in another window. Hold on, let me try it in like an incognito window. Let's see who else. What yeah, other channels? Huh. Okay, who else you want to do? Uh, let's see. Who else we don't like? Let's see. What, let's make Vlad matter. Let's see what Vlad makes. Shit, it's going to be a lot. Vlad TV? 156000 a month. Estimated yearly earnings, $1.9 million. Damn. Okay, let's see what... Uh, that got to be low. That got to be off. Let's see what Mr. Beast makes. That guy that makes the most. Yeah. Okay. 
monthly monthly estimated 7.3 million yearly 87.6 million Damn. All for you too. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah we ain't gonna do you alex i guess alex wanted to do it he said my my page is street games street games are you telling us you want us to do you alex because i ain't gonna put you out there yeah i won't scroll Wait down and you tell us to alex no nah, don't do alex i don't want to do it like that let's do let's do the nba let's see what the NBA oh let's do is. let's do what your boy uh uh break beat doing now oh okay okay break b media yeah i gotta remember break b has a lot of oh that's a lot of yeah. There we go. All right. Estimated monthly ten thousand six hundred dollars a month. With Estimated. all those things, because he got Mr. Marcos over there. I like yeah. that white girl they got over there, though. She's good. Yeah. Don't call me white girl or something like uh -huh. that. Yeah. I like her. Estimated yearly revenue one hundred twenty-seven. Oh, Alex is saying the reason why it shows zero is because you must have deleted a video. And I have deleted the video. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Who, who video? Oh, we deleted somebody's video. No, no, it wasn't anything um, bad. I was uploading this week's episodes, and some uh -huh. of them came up as um, an. Well, somebody called and asked me to delete it. Oh, Chris Stokes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, but that was a while ago. I did one like yesterday when I was uploading the episodes for the week, and uh -huh. one wouldn't be monetized, so I had to edit one word out and re-upload and delete it. So that's why. Alex, so did you go here? Did to do his? Yeah. He said, but his channel name is Street and something else. Yeah. Oh, okay. He do okay. Yeah. yeah. Sixty five hundred a month. Yeah, he do okay. Eighty thousand a year. Okay. So yeah. back to to straight game. <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. Huge. All right. Who else we want to piss off? Oh, that fool, uh, direction, discretion TV. I don't like that motherfucker either. Discretion TV. He makes thirty two hundred a month. Estimated. Oh, okay. Yearly thirty eight k. That ain't bad for his crack crackpot ass. Yeah. No, we did Shug. Shug's is Breakbeat Media, y'all. There, yeah. there. It's like four or five different ones. And they make like 10. Let's do Gangster Chronicles. Let's see what the motherfuckers make. Snoop Dogg, real quick. Snoop Dogg, even though he doesn't upload that much, 142000 a month, 1.7 million a year. He don't do nothing. Digital, what do we put uh, up? Well, he does music videos. Oh, he just does music? Oh, he does yeah. music. Okay. Digital okay. Soapbox yeah. Network. They must have deleted a video too. Oh, okay. There's not coming up. Is this the same one? Alex? Is this is I, I don't know if that logo is the right one or not. Let's take a look. Okay, let's take a look at digital. Software. Do great. Do do put in Gates of Chronicles and see if it. Well, they might have it under. Also. No. Oh, yeah, oh. The right one. yeah, it is this one. So this is right. They must have deleted a video, but um, do it. Said, do the last thirty days, they got uh, nine hundred and twelve. That's a, that's a minus. That's oh, yeah. minus. Negative nine hundred. Yeah, you're right. Oh, yeah, that's minus. I don't know what that means. Uh, what about his boyfriend? Uh, oh, I gotta figure out what his name. What is SCP or something like that? Well, I got another uh, exact name. It, it's yeah. Snoop. I don't know his name. Let me see. try that. I think it's that. Um, The dossier, y'all, they don't do um, YouTube stuff. They only do uh, podcast stuff. Smooth Cut. Butter Smooth Cut Productions. Let's it's Smooth Cut. There it is. Smooth, smooth Cut Productions. <laughs> don't play none of this shit. Hey, it's fair use. We're reacting. His intro oh, okay. I don't like his intro music. It's terrible. I just reacted to it. All right. Smooth Cut. He must have deleted a video too. Oh, uh, okay. They said C plus. What was our grade? They had C plus. What was what, what, what was our grade? Our grade is like a B or some shit. Oh, okay. 
B and okay, we'll be. The CR view says negative four point three nine million too. Yeah, because we ain't talking about Diddy no goddamn more. That's true. We had shit, three, four million views <laughs> talking about Vinny that month. That yeah, that's true. We got to start back talking about Diddy. Fuck you, igniting in this podcast, responding to that shit. That's what I say. All right, who else should we do on? Let's look at Daz. Daz Dillinger. It might be Daz Dillinger TV, but yeah, that's not him. Um, Daz Dillinger TV. Let's try that. There he is. Oh, man. Big Daz. 36 cents a month. <laughs> well, Daz, yeah, he, he ain't putting that up in a while. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah. What else? What, what? Who do you watch? Like, what channels do you look at when you go on there? When you go on there? Let's see what Big J do. J Dill might do okay. He might be doing okay. Let's what see what J Dill. I think it's... Uh, Big deal, real deal. I don't know. Gene Deal show or something like that. Yeah, Gene Deal show. There you go. There you go. Three thousand three hundred dollars a month, roughly. And this is all estimate. Keep in mind, and, 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 and he got to be, be my, but, but you know, lower, but it's probably higher. But in um, fairness, but in fairness, what he doing? Because he, I haven't seen him on about three different channels in the last month, so he he's doing okay personally. Yeah. Forty so money. Yeah, he do what, what, what he does with art and what he does. Yeah, yeah, Gene, 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 making at least ten, fifteen thousand dollars a month. He yeah. making about what? Yeah, yeah. But Gene doing okay. Yeah, and and with his retirement, Gene doing okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, well, we don't hate it on enough people. Okay, but that's how y'all can go and research and find out what y'all YouTubers are doing. Stupid. Uh, Damn. but ours the we checked the last time we checked ours is between fifteen and twenty though, just so y'all know. Come on, fifteen and twenty, yeah, man. But um, so, so I ain't just exposing people and not exposing ourselves. Oh, uh, Reggie, you cool with Crooked Eye? Yeah, Crooked Eye is a great dude, a great dude. Yeah. Oh, Drink Champs. They want to see. Well, oh, you want to see Drink Champs? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we can't hate on Gene. Gene, Gene, Gene is able to sell himself and go around and and do other, uh, you know, other channels. He does great things with art. Is Drink um, Champs his own channel or is it on Revolt? Or Revolt? Oh, I don't know. Let's take a look. He does, you know, he's making a little money with Count Capone. He do okay with. Uh, um, yeah, Okay, but well, they they probably make a lot of money because they run all their channels together. Less than I thought, forty two thousand a month. And, it's all re- and that's the this revolt. That's and who all, all who all is up under there? Well, maybe they all because they might. You gotta remember, they also making podcast money. Yeah, and they be having ads and stuff like that. So, yeah, but they got the same grade as us. A B, huh? Okay. Well, the B is more for um your optimization. Like, do you have keywords correct in your bio are you using the right descriptions in videos are you using the right keywords on your videos that's more of a total grade so if i put my mouse over total grade is a visual representation uh rank based on rating against our whole database so it's not you just know what not views that's more for how your channel looks okay how you operate you know who uh i like to see who? what shay shay club doing shay shay let me see how to spell his Shay Shay. And we're gonna have every oh, YouTube, YouTube channel. We're gonna yeah. have every YouTube channel in the world, man. <laughs> well, at least they'll be talking about us, right? <laughs> it's all public. No, it's all public. Yeah, I know, but they don't know, but they you'll still don't like to be exposed. Yeah. 147,000 a month, 1.8 million a year. That's Shay Shay? Yeah, yeah, Shay Shay. Yeah, I knew that cat will. He's got other but he do a good job. Yeah, he got yeah. another one. The the one with he just started with him and uh my other boy. Uh, what's his name? Nighttime? Osho, 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 Ocho. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. Have, have, a, have a channel they want million to dollars worth of game. Let's see what million dollars worth of game. Do. I, I, I'm, you know what? I'm not gonna piss off everybody. But I ain't calling out no more names. <laughs> All right. Never mind. Did we say no jumper? Let's see what no jumper. I'm curious to see what no jumper doing. You said no more names, and we said no jumper. I uh, know. I'm curious. I don't care about them. Seven thousand a month, five hundred sixty-six thousand a year, estimated. <laughs> that podcast money must make the last thirty days almost twelve million views. Yeah, forty-seven thousand. That's not bad. I yeah. just show you how my was lying. Be lying though. You see what oh, he no, said? He, 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 they kick ass on Facebook. He does good on Snapchat. Oh, they okay. Do, they do, yeah. They do it because every every one I see on Facebook, he said he make a million dollars a month. He might, he might be honest. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. I, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. All right, let's start pissing people off. Okay. Oh, somebody. Okay, one more. Okay. Say cheese. Let's see what say cheese do. He he don't know me so. Including his porn. Oh yeah. Oh, no, uh, no, that's not right. he's, he's all including this porn he said to me. And okay, let me find his channel. Hold on, say cheese. Oh, it's say cheese TV or some shit. Yeah, I don't know. Porn. I didn't know that dude was black. I thought he was a white boy. There it is. Um, 20,000 a month estimated, 229,000 a year. That's not bad. Nah, it's not that's bad. Not bad. None of these are bad when you can see. I, the None of these? Did you see Choke and uh, did yeah, you see no, well, Choke and you see The amount of time that Choke puts into it and how much he makes is terrible. Yeah. And that's yeah. Game. I'm, I'm just, I, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I yeah, I know. Yeah. I can't comment on that. It's, it's, let me go back to it. <laughs> Welcome back. $400 a month. <laughs> Welcome back. And this <laughs> motherfucker sitting on there talking shit about me. I should donate. I should cash up him four hundred dollars. I'm gonna cash up him my what we make tomorrow. I'm gonna cash up. I'm gonna cash up him what we make tomorrow. We make that in a day. And this nigga got nerve to talk. About. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna yeah. cash up him my, my on four twenty. I'm gonna give him whatever we make on the weed day. I'm gonna make. Him. I don't make so much money on 420. <laughs> no, I'm just lying. I can't see that. What the they play fighting? What you talking about? So you believe Coochie? Uh, uh, my boy. Ed flavors. You better leave me alone, AGTV, before I'm not sure what you make, nigga. <laughs> Let me see what they do. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I'm not sharing the screen anymore. I'm just going to look for myself. Oh, damn. <laughs> AG, come on. Oh, wait. This might not be you. I don't think this is you. No, that's not you. Hold on. It's yours. Is, it's AG TV. I was going to say the one I pulled up was like, <laughs> was straight game numbers. And I was like, oh, no. No, he does no. okay. He does okay. Yeah. Count Capone is my friend. I'm not, I'm not putting Count Capone. Count Capone and Art, I don't fuck with y'all. Yeah. So I ain't, I ain't you know, going to expose them. Not expose yeah. them. We don't. We don't. You know. We don't. Want we don't say nothing either way. We don't want no problems with them. Can't everybody? I can't help everybody hate me. Those that I fuck with. Channel anymore? Yeah. He just interviews on other people's. Uh -oh. Who? Charleston White. Somebody said show him, but I think he uh, he just interviews on other people's channels. I think he, he his channel got deleted or something. Yeah. Yeah. He's big on Instagram. He just do his shit on Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Shit, you want to know some crazy shit? Hold on. This is some shit my, my daughter watches. Hold on. Um, what is this called? Miss Rachel. Let's see this shit. You would not believe this shit, Reggie. Hold on. She deleted a video. No, nah, that's not it. Okay. Um, I remember what the, the gamers used to make. Well, the gamers used to kill it. Okay. All right. So the, the YouTube channel that my two year old like, okay. They just, it, they just do videos for little kids, you know, like teaching them how to read and letters and numbers and shit. And I'm not even kidding. Monthly estimated 
1.3 million. Yearly estimated earnings, $16 million. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yo, Reggie, do you think Jake Paul, I asked, we asked that question earlier. Um, John say uh, Jake I Paul fights. Paul I don't want him to win, but I think all his fights are fixed. Or fixed, but I said Michael Mike Tyson is too too crazy to to be involved in a fixed fight. He will fuck up the plan. He will fuck up the plan. <laughs> he will tell you uh huh uh huh, and then go and whoop his ass. So mm. I I really don't think he would be a part of no bullshit, no shenanigans. Yeah, um, I don't think Mike would do that. Yeah. Well, they'd be another Tupac album release. You know, um, I really think, um, because I know some things going on behind the scenes where they're really trying to clean up a lot of stuff. I really think they're getting ready for a sale. And then once they do the sale, then they're going to um, release stuff. Then then that new person will start doing some releasing. Have anybody heard anything uh, about the... uh, the settlement or not the settlement, I know it's gonna be a settlement, but uh anything about the the the, the estate still on Tom Wally? Have we heard anything about that recently? <clears throat> Anybody been following that? Somebody said I'm about to post. Okay, a guy named Kane said he about to well, he being funny, but if he was being serious, I will help you promote your channel. But a guy by the name said he was about to post his first YouTube channel, but I think he's just saying because now he see all the money to be made on this. And that's just YouTube. As John was alluding to earlier, you have Facebook. Facebook pays very well if you can get people to follow you on that. Uh, TikTok does good. Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, you got to get, you got to get, man, uh, I was doing something on Twitter that was getting five to, Five to seven million views a month, and was only getting checked like one hundred sixty-three dollars. So Twitter, Twitter, you gotta be real active, and you gotta, you gotta get like a hundred million views a month to to make some money off of Twitter. Twitter is hard. Twitter, you get your numbers up real quick, but it 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 it's hard to make money off of Twitter. But um, some people told me TikTok, TikTok yeah. does well. Be good, yeah. Yeah, we got to we got to really get our TikTok channel going. I'm trying. I, I, like stuff gets posted, it just doesn't get views. I mean, the audience yeah. for TikTok is is a lot younger. Definitely you know? young. So yeah, they're young. Don't young. Care yeah. Too much about the stuff we do, but it's also you know they like shit where people are dancing and and you know lip yeah. singing movie quotes and shit stuff that it's hard to. Uh, I gotta look to art because art kicks ass on it. Yeah, they do good stuff. They said yeah. somebody named Ray, Raffi, oh, Raffi Holly said game, the game-related podcast is Charleston White Pot. Okay. Not that we want to see it, but they said game, it's called Game-Related Podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, Reggie, what happened to Tupac MC Hammer original tracks? I only know of two of them. Uh, unconditional love, and what was the other one that that that, that he did for? And pain was it pain? Too tight. It was a song called Too, too tight. tight. Yeah, yeah, too yeah. tight. And they uh they were released. Unconditional love. I released on uh what was it? Was it on Death Row? On, yeah, on greatest, greatest hits. hits. Yeah. Yeah. On the greatest hits, and then uh Hammer released the it. Yeah, the other one never came out. I thought Great it came out on album. Hammer Hammer's album. No, what he did is he put his version of Unconditional Love out on his album. Well, I'm talking about the other song. Yeah, he never put it out. He never put that one out either? No. Okay. Well, well I know who got it then. <laughs> the estate. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> the estate got it. Something. I don't know what, what they got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There was a there was a Tupac with Hammer song called Too Late. Uh with Danny Boy, Not So Hammer. Oh, I put Tupac. that one out. I put that out on something. Wasn't it? No, no what did I put out on Two Gangster for Radio? Late night? Friend. Oh the, the one the Quake did late night. Oh you yeah, that was Chronic Two Thousand. You did late night yeah. and yeah. Who do you believe in? Yeah. 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 You put out the two Why are y'all not screen. interviewing Hero? 
Fuck here, yo. Fuck him in this. <laughs> Fuck him. Anyway, uh, a thousand times, Roger. I'm sorry. Um, did Napoleon call out Snoop in a death row meeting? And if so, what was the result after Tupac died? Hi, he told that story somewhere. Mm -hmm. He told that story. Uh, Y'all gotta understand, Snoop is not a confrontational type dude. Snoop would tuck his head. This Snoop that ever since he did that scene in Baby Boy, that's been a different Snoop. I think that Baby Boy show that, that uh, it it gave him some type of balls or something. I don't know, but that is not the same Snoop Dogg. I I didn't know that Snoop until ever since Baby Boy. Yeah. So the Snoop is not very confrontational at all, though. Yeah. I got a video. I'm going to send John right quick for him to give y'all. Can you hear me, John? Yeah. I can hear. Four hour mark. That's crazy. <clears throat> Oh, he must be. We see when he goes into another app, he can't hear me and we can't hear him. What age did you? I don't know. We'll ask. J77. We'll, we'll ask. Can you hear me, John? I can now. Once you switch, okay. I can't hear you, but yeah. When you oh, back. okay. Did you have that video I sent you when Stu was talking shit to that boy? When he was, well, nigga, you owe me money. Uh, you, why are you in here? Oh, okay. Or no, you know what? It's it's on a Twitter account. I can watch. Yeah, it yeah. Never mind. That shit's months I, old. I had mind. it in my thing, but uh, yeah, I was just gonna show you how that's a different Snoop, but he's acting there. <laughs> yeah, he's joking. <laughs> what age this should put on par? You know, Shiv was Isn't never one that was put on. He wasn't jumped in or anything like that. He ain't got in no cars. That's why. She, James talked about him the way he did. Suge was just around guys, and he looked out for guys that were gang related and all of that. And they allow him to uh, to start claiming the hood, um, and rightfully so. You know, he put a lot of money into their pockets. Um, you know, guys that was around, they gave a lot of people opportunities and jobs. I have no problems with Suge Knight's legacy. Or, or, or what he done? Yeah, none. So, um, yeah, you know, as far as you know, I'm talking about with the gang, you know, with hanging around the gang members and stuff like that. So I, I would never try to say he he was too old. He was he wasn't a game banger and all of that. No, he and he walked the yards two times. You know, whatever type of yard they were. But he, you know, as 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 a power rule. So, yeah. Where's Damu at, Reggie? Why do y'all ask that question? <laughs> I think they do it to fuck with you, or maybe they maybe they really like it. I hope he's probably Damu. Let's see how old Damu would have been. Probably gone before Shug went to jail, huh? Yeah, he was. But let's yeah. do what's seven times? What's seven times twenty-four? Let's see. No, shit, Damu would have been 30. So 30 times, 230 years old, y'all. Yeah. If Damu was still alive, <laughs> he would be the baddest dog. That's a 230 year old dog y'all talk asking about. How long was he really around, though? Probably like two months, three months? No, he was no, no longer than that. Um, cause, cause somebody else started taking care of it. One of his female friends, he let her go live with her oh, okay. uh, yeah. once he went to jail. Yeah. He 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 kept all his, his female friends with a dog. Yeah. He, they, they all had a dog. His favorite dog. What is his favorite dog, y'all? Let's see. Trivia question for today. What was Shug's favorite dog name? Shit, everybody's gonna say Damu because that's the only one they know. Okay. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach y'all something. Y'all wanna know Quivia? Huh? Come on, anybody? Anybody know Shug's favorite dog name? He has it tattooed on his body. Yeah, I ain't never heard that story. Y'all don't be listening to Reggie, right? He had a dog named Bear. 
That was tattooed on you. It was a rock roller. What happened to it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> funny. Yeah, so funny. <laughs> That's all I ever know. <laughs> oh um, my god! Them or anyone loved their dog. It was it was before Don Musso. So just to tell you how old that motherfucker was. Bear. What Bear was his dog? He got that. He got a picture of Bear tattooed on him. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Did, did Bear live a full life, or did he pass young? I don't know. Bear was old. No, Bear. I, I don't know. I don't know what a full life is to y'all, but it was a big motherfucking dog. Like big old. Ten years, fifteen years, somewhere around there. Ray, did you ever drive for? Uh, not every day, but shit, too much. Reggie's a buster. Uh, yeah, I did bust. I I have busted a lot in in, in different. And probably your mama. I bet you, I bet you your mama know me. You just don't know how many. If you're from Compton, if you're from Compton, there's a good chance I. Fuck your sister. The but I know you the boss. Is that the one the I, when I was in the store I was telling you about, Reggie? I wonder if that was two, 2004. What's so, that? So, no, it couldn't have been that one. When we were talking about the death row, you know, fight or whatever at the Source Awards. Oh, no, that was, no, I'll tell you what year that was. That was when Quick got arrested. So that would have been 2000. It was when Chronic, two, it was when Two Gangster Radio came out. We was advertising that. So, two thousand, either two thousand, yeah, two thousand. Sure, sure. It was the one when they. It was at the Source Awards in Pasadena. Well, what made yeah. you ask about that? It was. It was in Pasadena when Quick got arrested. Pasadena PD arrested him. What up, Almighty Trey? Almighty Trey, man, I gotta tell you, bro. I never ever talked to you or met you before. I know a lot of people think you me in the comment section. Well, I just want to tell you, you're a very knowledgeable brother, and I appreciate uh, everything you be doing in the comment section with correcting stupid motherfuckers, man. So I really don't know you, don't know anything about you, where you from, but I always wanted to let you know. Appreciate yeah. you, John. All of Mighty Trey. You ever yeah, want to talk? You know, the Tupac song with Lil Baby. I've never heard never heard it or didn't know it existed. Oh, well, that might be something he said is new. And he'd be researching, so he might know something. Yeah, I'll I'll text Molly tomorrow, and I'll let you know in the comment section. But well, I'll text Molly and ask her if something's in the work. John, if you get a chance, you, or tomorrow in the comment section, remind me to ask Molly from the estate, and I'll give you an an actual answer to that. Appreciate you once again, man. The nineties artists have got ghostwriters. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah. Warren, Warren G. <laughs> <laughs> did you listen to Shug Knight? He said Warren G did. <laughs> yeah, Snoop did. I mean, we know Dre did. Yeah, Dre. Yeah, Dre. And that's not hitting on. It's just being honest. Yeah. Uh, people. Biggie excited. wrote for a lot of people too. Biggie wrote for uh, Biggie wrote for a lot of all of the uh, Junior Mafia people, and he wrote for not all of them, but some of them. Puffy definitely had Ghost Riders. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. So yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. um, DLC wrote for a lot of people. DLC and corrupt. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Reggie, any thoughts on Bloods and Crip? John, you let me know because you know I've been running my mouth. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Nobody ever told me who won the game between Chicago and uh. Let's look. ESPN. Let's take a Chicago look. and uh, uh, who? Chicago, Atlanta. 76ers beat the Heat. Let's see what else. Yeah, I saw that one. They were winning too. Um, Miami the gave Bulls, that one up. The Bulls beat the Hawks. The Bulls won. Okay. okay. 131 to 116. Well, they blew them out. I got to see if I want some money because I bet on that game. I did. Uh, I placed fantasies on that. Let's see what I did. But somebody asked a good question. Somebody was. Reggie, you know, oh, 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 I don't know. You asked me that a few times, Andrew Wilson. I don't know if who he hung out with when he was with Big Psych. Uh, but if, if that would make sense, because isn't that where the IVC is from? Oh, Reggie, do you know Tupac Khan? And would you or, or ever DJ Quick on the channel? DJ Quick ain't going to fuck with me right now because I've been talking too much shit about him. Uh, but hey, man. I can't cut out Arthur Dialogue on getting anybody. If you want to keep it real. 
Kobe White had 42. I think that was my top player. I got to check right quick. Hold on. Okay. I, uh, I, I know I had him. I hope I didn't change him. Hold <laughs> on. Is it true Danny Boy took Mary J. Blige from KC and make a song about it? No. I don't think that's true. Well, I don't like whack, but Red, you're a funny dude. Did Tupac ask the mob to jump the dog pound in Snoop after NYC trip? No, it was always... Uh, He talked about it. But he now, didn't. I don't know if he ever. Can you hear me, John? Yeah. Oh. Did he ask the outlaws to jump the dog pound, or he asked the mob? Uh, no, he wouldn't ask the mob that he couldn't do that. Exactly. Um, but uh, he he had made that threat, or he had said that. But Sugar and I, I remember Sugar and I laughing about that <laughs> when he said he's gonna have the outlaws jump the dog pound, and we were like, uh, we we thought that was funny, but he was serious. He was serious. But you know, you shit blows over. Didn't do it, huh? Huh? You had a week and didn't do it, huh? You got to remember they, they didn't see each other. Well, they lived in the same apartment building, yeah. but they were a lot younger. Yeah. No disrespect yeah. to the outlaws. Right. And Y'all got to understand. Hills, right? In that other. Uh, when they the live right across the street at the Wilshire House. The Wilshire yeah, House. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh no. Well, well, he still had the Wilshire House, but he was. They were mainly in Cal- Calabasas at that time. Oh, okay. So they probably never even came back to the the wheelchair house. So did they not get those apartments in Woodland Hills until after Tupac died, or did they have them when? Tupac yeah, that was later. That was later. Oh, okay. gotcha. Well, you know what? No, no, they had them, but they were mainly just hanging out with Tupac. Okay. They were living. They were living at the house in Calabasas. So no, they got those later. They had them when they first came out, and he was at the wheelchair house. Uh-huh. So they probably always had it, but they were living at the. Uh, they were living at the uh, gotcha. house in Calabasas. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, let's see. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So, so should have been trying to defuse it. He just laughed about it. What? Which part though? When two part? Well, when we he heard when he said that, what can he say? Oh, you know, don't don't do that. Don't no no fighting, no, no fighting. fighting. <laughs> he said, you know. It wasn't nothing he could say, you know. He knew how they were hiding. He just knew it would blow over. All right. I got a question for you. Okay. What if, and this is a super hypothetical, but what if uh, he was like, he's got to go or I got to go? Who are you going to pick? Ooh. Oh, no. He would have picked. Remember, the godfather that. has not come out yet. So we don't. I know. We but know, he's still. He's no, 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 no. Him and Park had a special bond. You ever see Suge and Park and Suge and Tupac? Suge and Snoop. In a room, fucking girls. You ever see that? No. I can show you five pictures right now of him doing that with Pop. You know what I find interesting? And this is not to knock Tupac because I'm the biggest Tupac fan in the world. But I just want to get your opinion on this. We know those pictures exist, right? Or like what? Shug with with the strippers or yeah. whatever. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the girls. Yeah, they party, and that's how niggas party. Yeah. Like young, rich niggas, that's how they party. Yeah. In an interview, Tupac says, uh, you know, I, I'm not like that anymore. I don't even want to be in the room when somebody else is fucking a girl. I would well, they wasn't fucking. They wasn't fucking. They wasn't fucking. They were dancing. It's a difference. Men being strip yeah. clothes all the time. And Tupac fans didn't went you, down. Or, the same room? Well, they, well I, they were fucking with girls. <laughs> All they weren't fucking. Saying, yeah. They okay. were having, they were partying like young black men do. Uh, that got money. That's how they were partying. Gotcha. Yeah. And that was at the studio at Canal? That was in Canal, yes. So, can we know Canal was the studios, but was Suge the only one with an office space there, or were there other offices? Oh, in I that? should no. My security had an office up front. Kevin okay. Lewis had an office off to the right. We had a girl that. Did all the invoices, you know, keeping up with the engineers and the musicians and stuff. She's so the owner of it. In there. Yeah, yeah. There but Shug had his freaked out. Shug yeah. had a nice big screen, red carpet, death rows, limbo, couches, a uh, big old fish tank. Uh, the room he had a bed in the room to the left. Huh? Is that where the piranha tank was, the fish tank? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Was it actual piranhas in there? 
I don't know that what they would say they were. I wouldn't put my hand in there. <laughs> I mean, did you see him feed the fish or whatever? You yeah, yeah, there? with fish in there. Then you tell people come and take care of that. Oh, okay. No niggas was rich back then. They could have whatever they wanted. They had no fake shit. Oh no, 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 I didn't think that. I just meant like if you saw him feed like live animals to the fish, you would know. Oh, I done seen him. I done seen rats get dropped in a in a tank with snakes. Yeah. I couldn't believe. Have y'all ever seen a rat I get have. eaten by a snake? Well, uh, I've seen him put it in there, and I, I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to see. This and, and, and and it swells up their whole body. I don't even yeah. know how a snake has the best digestive system ever. It has to be. Do y'all know they eat a whole rat, and it just swells up in that area, without them chewing it or in, or anything. I don't. I, y'all, if y'all ever get a chance to see a rat get eaten by a snake. Y'all would be like, whoa, yeah. yeah. But yes, yeah, so we used to do that, throw mice in there to, to feed his snake. Uh, yeah. Yeah, not a fan of snakes. Yeah. But to each his own. Nuke Upside Your Head was recorded at DJ Pooh Studio, um, whoever asked that question. Yeah, you say, all right, alligator. Yeah, we didn't fuck with no alligators. That's, <laughs> a, that's, a, that's a Florida thing. Yeah. Why was Frank Alexander recording phone conferences between you and him? Because he's a bitch. Uh, Fatal had beef with the outlaws behind Yoxdale because it was Mutal's cousin that killed him. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's true. If you say so. yeah. A lot of people, Yasmin to this day, still have problems with Mutal. If you ever watch them on Twitter and on Instagram and stuff. Yeah. They just had a, a a little back and forth about four or five months ago on on, on Yasme on 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 IG. The one thing I'm glad about that Mutal is starting to finally speak up back and speak and respond to her now. He's not just taking her shit lying down anymore. Ed Foster said, "Reg, did you see DOC interview on Drink Champs? He didn't say Jane's name, but I think he was alluding to a story mm -hmm. about James punching him after drinking and driving." Mm. One thing I, I always want to talk bad about James and stuff. But one thing I never, ever, ever really heard him do is lie about stories. Mm. I have never really heard him lie about any stories. No. The song was recorded and they took him off the song. Oh, okay, maybe so. Song. When was Snoop Upside Your Head recorded? He's dissing pop. Yes, no. It was recorded though, and DJ Pooh. Let's see, it would have been no, because it was 96. Tupac couldn't even been dead two two months. No. No. It might have been he recorded. Was, oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah, they came out November 97. Tupac had just yeah. died in September. Back to back. I mean, I mean, November 96. Yeah. No, no. Nobody was that mad at that time. Mm -hmm. That that makes you feel good, Carmela Brown. That makes you feel good. I hope it does. <laughs> I'll go tell your mama to, 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 to DM me. I need to go to sleep tonight. Need something good to watch while I'm asleep. Bitch ass nigga. Well, um, what, what is this, Reggie? Is it true Snoop instigated the incident that got the guy Stomped to death at Wilton on Wilshire. No. Okay. I don't even know what that no, is. No, that was DJ, DJ Quick. You're talking about the already theater. Oh, okay. All right. Gotcha. No. <sighs> I don't forget what, what what Snoop was doing. But Snoop, it was Quick that walked by. Was Snoop there? Yeah, they were there. He had just oh. got through. From, well, actually, back well, Backstreet was about to perform. I think Quick had just performed because that's what Quick was walking by with MC8 and they don't did what they did. I don't know where Snoop was at. Let me ask you this. In your opinion, you don't have to go into detail. Do you think the person that um, got got killed, not that they uh, deserved to get killed, but did they deserve to, did the fight deserve, was the fight warranted in happening? Well, 
from what you've heard, not what you've seen. I'm just saying what you've uh -huh. heard. Uh, was it warranty to happen? Well, I always said LC8 and Quick is started it because yeah. of their bullshit. Oh, now, okay. now they started it, but they weren't the ones that had anything to do with right, right. the over the overreaction. Yeah, yeah. So you think but that it was overreaction? Yeah, man lost his life for a fight. Yeah, yeah. But. That's how the shit goes. Yeah. <clears throat> he wasn't a, from what I hear, he wasn't a uh, innocent bystander. Gotcha. He was involved. He was involved in the melee. The melee. Gotcha. That's all I meant. That's all I was curious yeah. about. Yeah, it wasn't like an innocent person that was there. Yeah. Somebody said, "Why was Ken Dog killed?" And do you know? Do we know who killed him? <laughs> yep. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> How is Compton nowadays? I think I talked to you about. Oh, this oh, they, uh, you know what I was thinking here, Ron? Hen dog. Okay, we can talk about hen dogs. Okay, good. Hen dog uh, was killed at a Jim Danny's fried chicken, and which is a, a hot spot in Denver Lane area. Okay, I'll tell y'all three different stories. One story is some guy that the Mao Paru guys were. Were, were beefing with, followed them there, and got on a took the car, took the bicycle out of the car, and followed them there, and and, and shot them. Don't believe that story at all. Well, some people will tell you that. Story two: His girlfriend, baby mama, left her car, left her baby in the back seat of the car with him, and went to the phone booth to make a call because they were looking for an apartment in the area and getting directions to the uh to the location and send him out to get killed don't believe that even more because ain't no mama gonna leave their car gonna leave their um child in the car and have him set up so that's another story that's out there but that's some bullshit too three that i believe a dude on a bicycle from denver lanes area patrolling the area See a dude that he don't recognize, Allah, in his area, confronts him, say something to him. He apparently didn't say the right thing, and he shot him. Damn. Yep. So that's the story on Hendo. But he was in that area. Because they were looking for an apartment, um, going around looking for an apartment, um, and they were using a, his girlfriend was making a phone call at the phone booth. Oh, and he was in the car. And he was sitting in the car with her daughter. And the guy on the bike ride rode up to the window and said, "Where?" Yeah. You know, he said, "Gotcha." Yeah. Exactly. You'll you'll find out a lot about Suge Knight and his. Betrayal if he keep talking and running his mouth. That's where the story comes where Timmy and Biggie, my boy Biggie, go over in Denver Lane and get cart about to do a drive by in retaliation for that and get cart. If you know more about that, I'll monitor. If mm -hmm. y'all remember the uh, Michael Wett interview, what he talked about. And they find yeah. him. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Will people ever take the new death row seriously as a label? I don't think so. No, but but who cares? You know who who promotes their label anymore? That's it's true. all about this ownership of the of the, uh, 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 of the stone. Snoop got yeah. all his songs. You know the 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 bad thing about it is. Tupac Estate got his stuff, which is good. You know, I'm talking about for Snoop or, or for their for label. So yeah. they controlled all the Tupac music. Dre got the Chronic, you know, which mm -hmm. was a big thing. Snoop has control over everything else. Him and Daz and me were arguing over the Dog Pound stuff. And so that's why that's not out. And so, you know, but Snoop got his own, his own stuff. And, you know... Um, and he got his own stuff. So pretty much everybody got their own shit. 
So it's really the whole just really a label. Who owns it? I mean, that? just uh the unreleased stuff. Who do you think owns it? The unreleased um he has control over it if he wanna put any of it out. Okay. There's a, a record label that somebody that, that y'all like owns called uh Games Files that has some songs out there as well. Y'all can go check out and listen to if y'all want to hear some old Death Row stuff. <laughs> some the roll stuff. Go check out Game Files. Y'all can get y'all some music, download some music from there. Do you think she was gonna die in jail? I hope not. I um most people live, you know, past 70. OJ, you know, he just died at 76. Rest in peace, OJ. I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I say rest in peace, OJ. 76. Uh, and so people live, you know. People live. Uh, my father's 75. So damn. Every time I think about that, be like, damn. My yeah. father, people, everybody that age is dying. I'm when 75 to 80. When you think about your dad and you get the picture of him, is it the same picture in your head of how your dad looks now? Or do you have, do you, are your memories of most fond memories of him or when he was younger, if that makes sense? No, well, I see him a lot. See, my dad, me and my dad see each other at least three or four times. We talk every goddamn day, no. but we see each other at least uh, three to four times a week. So that's all the image I have. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody said, this is a good question. Um, forgive my ignorance, but what, what, but why exactly is it so important to own your masters? Oh, great question. Uh, well, number one, you, you hear when they're in the commercials and stuff like that, because you can make money off of those songs if they don't replay them. Okay, now I know the publishing, there's a difference with the publishing and all of that. But the main thing is because the people don't want to go and redo it. And so the person that owns that master is the person that actually can license it into that movie along with the publisher. But the main reason for the ownership of the master is so people won't have to replay it. Now, it can't or re recreate it, replayed or re yeah. Now, I'll tell y'all a movie that most of y'all didn't notice where everything was replayed on it. Because uh, I guess because they couldn't find the masters or whatever, or they just wanted to make it sound better. Mm -hmm. But they replayed all of it now, so they didn't have to get permission really from the owner of it, but they had to get permission from the music publisher. What 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 uh, movie that y'all all know on here? And I'm talking about any y'all know where they had to go and replay? Can I say it or not? No. Okay. <laughs> he said no. Let's see if people get it before you before you say. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Do y'all know what music, what movie that you all know where the music was replayed? It wasn't the actual master recording. Yeah, the 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 the, the music was re-recorded for the movie. Yes. Yeah, Shane got it. Yeah, so that's what they did. There's a guy by the name of. Uh, correct. Yeah, Alice got it too. Uh, Straight Outta Compton. It was was the movie that this kid by the name of Damon Thomas and the Underdogs, where they replayed it all and uh, the music and, and 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 didn't have to use the master recording, and so that's why uh, you can still get around it by replaying stuff, but you still gotta get permission and you gotta pay the the original publisher. Uh, 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 of the music. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could say if you replay it, you don't have to worry about the master recording, but most people don't like going through the re troubles of replaying music and replaying and getting the vocals redone and all of that stuff. And so um, that's why you want the master recording. But a lot of people are making movies, you know, movies make a lot of money from owning the masters. You know, when y'all hear no, you know, old movies, just like Suge. That's what Suge probably going to be. Suge got, Suge got another way to make money again. 
I don't know which one's going to be big when he gets out or when he gets serious. If it's going to be TV shows like the BMF stuff or if it's going to be a movie, you know, like Bob Marley. How many of us watched the Bob Marley movie or whatever? Or if it's going to be documentaries like like they did on with well, FX for Tupac. I don't know what's going to be big. But he's going to be able to do something like that. And we're going to run to the whatever there is to see it from his point of view. But guess what he's going to need and why he's going to have to down there kiss Snoop's ass or whoever's in control of the music. Well, I just said why. <laughs> but what he's going to have to do is he's going to have yeah. to get do all of that to get the music. Because what's good irony. is that... Yeah. Ahead. I was just going to say the irony of all that is when the Welcome to Death Row documentary came out, that was Suge's biggest gripe is he said, how can you make a movie about Death Row and you don't have any of the music in it? So he'll face that same problem if he comes out and tries to make something about his time at Death Row. He'll either have to get the music from who owns it or do it without it. Yeah. And that's what's going to be his problem. Let me ask you a serious question. Do you think Suge would ever be, and this isn't a knock on him, I'm just curious, but do you think he would ever get to a point where he would tell the open and honest truth about what happened to death row to where it would be a factual TV show and not a vindictive getting, you know, getting back at somebody or making this person look bad saying Dr. Dre said he wanted to be white, that kind of stuff. Do you ever see that? Uh, uh, You know, age, age do make us, age do make us, a little wiser or humble us. Mm-hmm. If he's broke, if he's broke enough, see right now, Suge ain't broke. Cause guess what it costs him to live? It only costs that nigga about five hundred dollars a month to live comfortably in that prison. Yeah. You know, everything he doing, all the podcasts and all of that, that money that's been generated, he's just doing that to look out for people. Yeah. Cause he can be he's comfortable as a motherfucker for five hundred dollars a month in a prison. Trust me, because I did it. I lived like a king for five hundred, six hundred dollars in there. So I know. Trust me. Um. So my point is, but when you get home and you be out there on the streets and you got to make shit happen, then you might be a little humble when people call you on your shit. Because number one, you're gonna be seventy years old. So who's gonna be really scared of you? And who's gonna be really scared of a seventy year old man, right? Yeah. Um. But okay, no disrespect to that because whatever. But you be a little bit humble to be like, okay, hey, sure, no, no, I'm not going to have Dre sucking dick in the corner. I'm not going to have Snoop running and hiding and and all of that. We don't believe that's what happened, and if that is what happened, we don't want to know that. Yeah. But this is, you know, we want to really know the real. And usually, when you need to make pay a bill. You may tell it, ah, like me, I'll be telling, nah, I ain't going to do that. And then about a week or two later, I'll be like, all right, how, how much you want to give me again? <laughs> how much you want? And I think that's what's going to happen. I think that's what's going to happen. Because he's going to want to come home and he's going to want to stunt. He's going to want a nice, he ain't going to want to be, you know, all these females and all of this stuff that he's telling all these sweet nothings to right now. Uh-huh. That titty's going to be hanging and dropping to the knees. <laughs> you know, he's yeah, gonna want a forty or fifty. He's gonna want a forty or fifty year old. You know, yeah, at seventy. You know, and so my point is, he gonna want to be stunting, doing what he do. Mm. Yeah, I remember one time you said uh, when he when in ninety six, ninety seven, or whatever, when he got the parole violation. I remember you said at one point. You know, Shug needed to sit down for a minute. He was going too hard. Do you still think that's true? Do you still believe that he was going too hard in 96, 97? Well, I didn't I don't think I said he needed to. I think I just said they were on us. I I don't think it was a bad thing because we were going hard, but yeah. they would have got us for something else. We would have all been in a federal penitentiary for something. Gotcha. Oh um, well, um, they were definitely searching with all that. The yeah, they were. They, they were. Yeah, they would have. They would have eventually got us for something. Um, if 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 that wouldn't happen, 
Do you I know really John, John Lamont is? He says, no. you've been warned. You might not live to see see the show and stuff if you keep mentioning my name in your interviews. I never heard of you in my life, dude. <laughs> All right, well, let me just piss you off right now. Lamont. Suck never. my motherfucking dick, Don Lamont. Okay? <laughs> now, if that don't piss you off enough to come at me now while I'm 56, 57, suck my dick, you troll. I don't give a fuck who you are, nigga. Now, do that piss you off enough, nigga? Now, let's see. Nigga, don't care about no motherfucking... Oh, man, I ain't scared of nobody. I'm rolling up on you. Okay, sure. Come on, nigga. Do what you gotta do, you bitch-ass nigga. All right. We'll see. We'll see how tough Don Lamont is. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I interrupted uh, what you were talking about. <laughs> uh, you were talking about, but uh, yeah, I hate trolls, niggas, gangsta, keyboard warriors. Anybody can do that. We can say anything. He said, "I hope all you're right. struck." <laughs> all right, all right, good, good, good. Let's do what you're gonna do. Don't, don't get yourself in trouble for being stupid. Pathologist said, "Still traceable, fool." Boom. One thing I know about, I always tell you, niggas that I'm fearful of and scared of is a nigga that don't say shit. <laughs> niggas be like, all right, that's how you want to play it. Niggas that talk shit. Niggas that talk shit, I just, I, 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 all the gangsters that I ever know don't, don't make threats. Mm -hmm. I have never known a gangster that make threats. They all just be like, huh? <laughs> you really... Shit really gonna go that way? Those are the type of niggas I'll be like scared of. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> damn. Did that nigga just threaten me? Niggas that just talk shit and go all that way, man. They, they, are, they are usually the biggest, weakest, sorriest bitch ass niggas that you will ever meet. They're usually the, big, the biggest busters. Now, the nigga tell me Little Reds, what? You you said what, Little Reds? <laughs> oh, okay. That's how that's how you think this shit gonna go. <laughs> that nigga was scared the shit out of me. <laughs> hmm. yeah. All right, well, I gotta get tomorrow's videos ready. In. Oh yeah, twelve o'clock, three o'clock yeah. on the East Coast. So man, we appreciate y'all hanging in there with us. Man, we got some good super chats uh, in there. We appreciate that, and um. We just wanted to do an old day, uh, old time, and and um, do a four, hour, oh, damn, a four and a half hour like <laughs> lunch. <laughs> oh well, well. Hopefully, somebody got a, a long trip to take tomorrow, and they can ride and listen to Reggie John and, and my boy Alex and all of that. So uh, appreciate you guys. Anybody that definitely was here from from the beginning to end, we really appreciate y'all, and um. Hey man, you know, like I said, listen, y'all, y'all see, we addressed why uh, we did the uh, that segment with, with Whack. We addressed it. Um, we addressed it a few things. Hopefully, you're gonna skim through and find what whatever concerns you had that you would like to uh, that you wanted to address it. You uh, know, we appreciate y'all. You uh, know, we'll be back at y'all. Y'all got any good good suggestions um, you know, for some content for next week? Let us know. Uh, but, yeah, we'll wait and see what happens this week. Hopefully yeah. by now, hopefully uh, Mr. Knight ain't too mad at me. And he won't go in on us too hard. But I got a feeling uh, there's going to be some back and forth until I finally break down and and, and call him. Matter of fact. Matter of fact, today is today the nineteenth or the eighteenth? Today is the eighteenth, so Friday will be will be the nineteenth. Oh, okay. All right. I'm right, gonna say, but don't forget your boy Shug Knight's uh, birthday is on the nineteenth. James' birthday was now and officially yesterday, the seventeenth, and 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 you know, 
Y'all gonna wish them both a happy birthday. I'm sure that they'll make um take a collect call from Shug. Shit, Shug ain't he only gave one collect call in 15 episodes. What what make you think he's gonna call me? <laughs> but anyway, um Yes, G. Um, the segments was white going to get better. He gonna get away from the Shook stuff. I think that was the last negative one about Shook or or Tupac. Everything else is just some topics, some some current topics. So I appreciate it if y'all give him a chance. And no, uh, if not, hey, I understand. But you know, if you really listen to Wack, he he'll give y'all some knowledge and some game if y'all give him a chance. But unfortunately, sometimes you gotta talk regular to get heard. It's unfortunate that, that this is how YouTube is, or how we think uh, YouTube is. You know, maybe if y'all teach us, teach us better and show us. Because if I ain't calling people homosexuals and all of that, then I only get fifteen thousand views. Let me call somebody a homosexual. <laughs> 150,000 views. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. But peace out to you guys. Appreciate y'all again for hanging in there with us, man. Really dope. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bomb first. Peace.